Hello, everybody. I'm Mannequin. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Oh, how are you all today? Let's see who's here. Randy, hello. Bowser Jr., hello. JD, hello. Dumball, hello. Entertaining, hello. How's everyone doing today? You're going to watch in VR. VR Phoenix Wright. Wait, so if you're in VR, if I go like this, does it look like I'm grabbing you? Like, Aah! That would be awesome. So then you guys can have an immersive experience of me sniffing your eyeballs. Oh yeah. <laughs> VR Ace Attorney, but you can see your own hand and can flip everyone off. <laughs> You'd be have to use your pointy pointy finger for objections. Uh, been a bit of a rough day for me. I got some bad news, but I'll probably, eh, if I feel like sharing it with you guys, I'll share it with you after the stream. But, so right now, we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright. I think this is the second to last Phoenix Wright uh, episode. Uh, somebody told me that uh, you can, apparently Apollo Justice is Apollo Just Apollo Justice, yes. Apollo Justice is on um, the Ace Attorney trilogy, but I don't think that's true. I checked. Like, I checked my game and I couldn't find it. So, yeah, but whatever. Uh, let me just set up my tracking thing here so I can see if the stream fails or not. Um, but overall, uh, yeah, overall, it's not a terrible day, I suppose. Um, anyway, let's play. Is it very, is what very bad? Uh, 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 uh. All right, if you guys remember, hold on, I need some drinky drink. It's not awful, it's just personal. Um, but thanks for asking, uh, Bowser. I actually, that actually, Really, no, really, I appreciate you um, showing interest and caring. Um, anyway, last time we stopped, we were... We just finished the trial. Edgeworth was um, Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney. And um, we beat Von Karma. And... I'm not sure what happens next. Well, I guess we didn't beat Von Karma. It's more like we prolonged the trial. Von Karma abused Larry. I know, isn't he so lucky? Damn. February 9th, 3.43 a.m. Hottie, ah, oh, it's the Hottie Clinic. Oh, oh. Hopefully that, that crazy patient has been discharged. You got you guys remember the the crazy patient? Oh yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, you smell so good. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's why he was in the hospital. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, ever handled in a court of law. Chopra. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What I've read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me. <laughs> he falls from four stories, and the worst thing that happens to him is a cold. He, he's lucky AF. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing. My throat burns, and my head is on fire. 
Did I say hi, Kemjo? Hello, Kemjo. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the stupidest witness imaginable. But I know that my darling, um, that, um, Edgeworth will be able to help me with him. Somehow. Well, welcome to Dusky Bridge. Right. Are you sure you are well enough to do this? You still look a little greed in the face. Uh, or, or maybe, uh, <laughs> Viridian. <laughs> I learned that from the artist. Actually, my fever's gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2! Oh my god! Boy, you need to get to bed. Anything above 100 is like your cells are dying, man. Oh god. Bro, bro, go back to sleep. <laughs> anyway, I've read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. I'm glad you got to live out your childhood dream. We're not in the clear yet, you idiot. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shichi Shito did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? You want to see my phoenix? Not now. Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon or I'll eat my coat. Well, we're gonna see a coatless gumshoe tomorrow. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. <laughs> that is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying a little, uh, paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is our client's background, naturally. You remember in the in that case, in the case like six years ago, Edgeworth was the only person who looked into her background. Bro, why are you not doing this? How have you gotten worse? You mean, uh, Iris, sir? I have the feeling we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you... Sorry, Edgeworth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so useless. He's delirious from his fever, sir. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. And I don't care about your fever. Yeah, guess I should get moving, too. Why? You need to be somewhere? Yeah. I gotta get work. I gotta get to work on the bridge, bro. I'm bringing something. Hey, Gumshoe, you're my boy. I'm waiting, bringing something up so we can get across to the other side. That's right. Maya's still stuck in there, uh, stuck over there, along with Pearl and a freaking serial killer. Don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gum. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? I'm off. Gotta go down to Home Depot. Buy some 2x4s. Uh, just a really long 2x4. That should be good enough. Hang in there. We'll get you out, I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Alright. Well, there's. there doesn't seem to be any changes here. Let's head down to Larry. Looks like no one's here. Larry! Larice! I was sure he'd be hiding here. Guess I'll try again later, but first. Oh yeah, you're so pretty. <laughs> Look at the graffiti scrawl on, right on the front of the shack. At least he managed to get a pretty good likeness. When I really think about him, I guess art kind of suits him. He's insane. He's stupid. He never got an education. Is quite possibly going to lead to the murder of millions. Yeah, art is just fine for him. 
I mean, his very existence is an art of sorts. <laughs> to the main gate. Oh my god. Uh, it's too early in the day and to, to deal with Larry, and it's 4 p.m., so... <sighs> Come on, please! It's for heart's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroine here! The heroine in my book! He'll make you famous! <laughs> Enough! A fool's fool, fool's fools, who foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool. What the? She's slowly turning into a Pokemon. Fool. Fool, 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 I, I'm not cheating on your brother, I promise. Wait a sec, I know- Ow! Your reflexes and mine need to shape up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up egg and you want me to grill- And you want to grill me over a name? Francie, you can't do that! Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death! She's turning into a fool fru. <laughs> With a dead horse. Isn't that what uh, one of your American sayings? No, it's literally don't whip a dead horse. It's literally a don't. No, it's not! And I'm not on the brink of anything except falling in love with you. What? 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 Come on, Nick, tell her. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs to model for my new book, Francie's Whippity Whip Trip. I can't, I can't with this man. Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. Everyone clowning on my boy Larry, and me too, because Larry sucks. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, I'm telling the truth, I saw what I saw! Right, he's um he did that flying girl and we conjectured that it was actually upside down. Maybe she was like going under the bridge or falling or something. She flew, I'm telling you! Whoosh! Just like the dude with the red underwear! Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you guys come crawling back to apologize. Except for you, Francie. You can call me anytime. Off he goes. Hm. It's amazing how little he's changed within with you in the past year. Phoenix Wright. So, how are you doing? How's the Deutschland? Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record naturally. I beat you three times. I will kill you. Oh, Joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I am Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. Uh, dang, whip me, girl. I gave up a promising career in Germany, and I came into this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisca von Karma was born in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Never mind the emotional trauma a 13 year old has to has to face while being around dead bodies. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? Her father was the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years. But now he's gone from this world. Wait, he died? Uh, I guess he was getting old. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. My name is Francesca! Intriguing. 
truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. He's older than you! Edgeworth. Come to think of it, Edgeworth was pulled into be a pro being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. If you cheat on my brother, I will crush you into teensy weensy pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but she's so openly hostile, it's almost kind of cute. Ow! Oh! No smirking. No whipping the sick! How's it going, Froggy? That foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. Fool. Fool fool. Fool 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 Use Um Fury Swipes! Thank you, Von Karma. Edgeworth. Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you. You can pulverize me anytime you like. Not like that! It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. How are you doing, Froggy? I went over the whole case file on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Wait, you have a reading level above third grade? I don't think anyone in this country has that. Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made a very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge, did you even consider the dangers? No. The only thought in my mind was, I have to get across. Cause his freaking daughter's over there! A fool fool, fool fool fool, who is more than fool is fool fool fool, foolishly thinking fool fool fool. Fool! <laughs> Gumshoe said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's got to be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her what really happened at the Inner Temple. So, um, nice to see you too. I see you're still rocking the puffy sleeves. Puffy shoulders, um, very in fashion in Germany, um, in the 1600s. Mm hmm mm hmm Looking good. That was one long sigh. It's Grandma! How's it going, Sister Bikini? Give me a hug. Uh, Sister Bikini? My, 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 I didn't know you were here. How are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, look at her cheeks jiggle. <laughs> You're super surprised you found an Ace Attorney streamer this day and age. I am just enjoying the third game. I've streamed the first two, and I generally stream lots of uh, different games, but I do enjoy streaming visual novels because I do enjoy doing the voices. Ugh. <sighs> You don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mystic Elise die, and then there's... Iris as well. Yeah, and I hope you keep coming to some more streams. Thanks so much for showing up! Mystic Elise, now that I think about it... There's an acolyte stuck in the inner temple! And that poor little girl has gone missing too! That little girl? You don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the incident in the morning. Pearls. She's... Why didn't anyone tell me about this? I mean, we're all pretty sure she's on the other side. It just so happens she's also trapped with a serial killer. I must be getting old to think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I mean, I believe her to an extent. 
It's like, I'm not sure how much I trust her memory, but at the very least, I trust she's trying to disclose what she knows. I know what I saw! I saw Iris pull that sword from Mystic Elise's body! Carry some gravy and she'll find you eventually. Gravy! <laughs> I'm certain of it. At least, I was until this morning. I don't see any psych locks, so she must be telling the truth. Just like Mad on Guard, right? If you don't see any Cyclops, you can totally trust them! How's it going, Kiyama? You, um, we just started investigating, so you didn't miss much. But we're hanging out with Francisca Von Karma. Um... Uh, so... Why are you unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know, the artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying! Her hood was fluttering! I feel like I might start flying myself! <laughs> Freaking Larry. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. No, you can't. No one can be as bad as Larry. I wouldn't take that guy seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble. Oh, damn, Phoenix! <clears throat> if both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth. Okay, Larry might be telling the truth, but he's also an idiot. That can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they thought they saw. <laughs> um... Um, Phoenix doesn't feel better. He has a fever of 102. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple, correct? That's right. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room and- That's because it was another person! Um, I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night. But because you did, Maya's stuck all by herself at the Inner Temple. I'm so sorry. The drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Of course, you can always shake your stick at me, baby. Ah, uh, not now, Bikini. You know I love Edgeworth. What? Oh, no nothing, nothing. Um, winter is especially bad. I bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Wait, wait, wait. So you left a temple that is structurally unstable in an earthquake zone? This is... Maya, Maya's dead. She's 100% dead. She's 1,000% dead. I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there fast. Yeah, Pearl's probably dead too. No, um, but still, there's really no need to worry. The area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an eye. That's the problem. They're stuck with a murderer. It's like an island. How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there and surrounded on all sides by the river or the forest. I see. So a criminal would be tra trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer! Oh dear, yes I suppose it does! Yo idiot! I hope, I hope um, Maya made some samurai ninja friends. She can just like, um... Uh, she can summon their spirits, and then she can go all, like, ninja, like, superpowers. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you think about it, as long as Maya has enough spirit friends, she can literally do anything. She has every single possible expertise. <laughs> I would recommend um, befriending a dead sushi chef. <sighs> Please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up! <coughs> Curious oh, I'm curious about a few things if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh? Do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? But I'll give them to you for free. Not now! No, no, no. 
I want to know a little bit more about the victim, Miss Elise Dunyan. I'm afraid I don't know her waist or bust size for that map. You still have the body we can still measure. What? 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 No, no. I was wondering why she came to a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spirit training. My, my, my. You make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mystic Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. You did it again, Sister Bikini. I notice you always refer to her as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yeah. Now why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. <coughs> we dress, address all our visitors as Mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic, right, Mystic Phoenix? Oh yeah, that feels good. You're right, oh. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. She is? How old are you? I I'm sorry, never ask a woman her age. I, I apologize, I apologize. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Don't do this, Bikini. You did it. After I told you not to, you still did it. I said don't. I said don't do this, and, and you still you still did it. Seems Miss Elise didn't you that was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She wasn't with Miss Dunya on the evening of the murder. And now she's vanished. It's all gotta be connected somehow. Why did pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh man, my head's throbbing so badly. It's killing me. Pearls, she was with Miss Dunya on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see our little darling even once after we finished eating dinner. She was reading about gravy. The murder. Oh, the murder. It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? Dang, that must be rough for Pearl. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left that Pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with repairs soon. Um... I guess that's it. How's it going, Gonzalo? All right, Hazakura Courtyard. This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so maybe there's some clues that are yet to be discovered. Um, no, I don't think so. What's this? No. No clues there. Sled. Ladder, we've already investigated. This, we've already investigated. Staff. Uh, let's try the sword again. The Shichishito! And it's there in Mr. Gami's right hand. C O R C O R D C O R C O R D Erd. Hello, Civ Gaming. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> but hello. Um but it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. Um, no, given the design, it was probably incredibly impractical and never used at all. Miss Dinueva's staff. I definitely remember it, there being a crystal sphere attached to it. I guess Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of Dusky Bridge. Oh, I, I am not sure what you're trying to say, Sif, but hello, um, if you're Japanese, uh, maybe, maybe the Japanese keyboard is, uh, meshing weird with English, so, konnichiwa Uh, 
いらっしゃいませ<笑>はい What was it doing way out there?、Uh, I think that's everything. I know this isn't anything. The statue we've investigated. That's pretty much it.、Um, where else? Oh, that's it, huh? Okay, well, let's just keep inve investigating then. f l e e i n g turn, probably not. Blood? Nope. They get quite a bit of snow up here on Eagle Mountain. Around here, skis aren't just for fun, they're tools for getting around. But the sled, now that's gotta be for Bikini's personal entertainment. I like Bikini. That's something my grandma would do. <laughs> the main gate's on the other side of the stone wall. The difference in elevation is about 10 feet. That's how steep this hillside is. And that's also the height、um, to the body. That's also the height the body fell from, according to the autopsy. Is it possible that Miss Duya was pushed from the top of the wall?、Um, highly doubt it. I mean, she was staying here. The building up there is the main hall where it was where we're staying. It's still kind of funny because it was built on a very steep slope. If you enter from the main gate side, those rooms are above me. Those rooms above me are on ground floor. Apparently, Miss Rulet was staying in the corner room. I guess that's where she was pushed from last night. I don't think so.、Um, has anyone investigated her room? Apparently, they've done a, like, a quick search. There are a few of these stone lanterns scattered around. These are stone? I thought they were wood. Without the city glare to, complete, to compete with, I imagine they would seem a lot brighter. I guess Sister Bikini must light them now,、um, since Iris can't be here. Rip Iris. No. Hey! What was that jarring, inconsiderate, loud yelling? Yeah, come s h o o Hey, so this is where you've been, keeping nice and warm, I see, while I'm in the freezing cold building bridges and connecting hearts. Detective, have you finished the、uh, bridge? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Uh. Uh, I told you. I told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. I'll come along with you and. Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. It's been a while, Scruffy. Oh my god, everyone run for the hills! Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> And he's dead. Sister, please leave the investigation to me. My, my, my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I am on, I am on your side. And I won't do anything to you. You don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ah, that hurts, you know! Silence! I, Francisca von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously gonna follow me around, is she? You know, that's kind of cool. You know, um. We had an investigation with Gumshoe. We used to do a lot of investigations with Gumshoe, and then in the, I think the second game we did an investigation with Edgeworth, and now we get to do an investigation with、uh, Franzi. Oh wow, look at, the, look at the bridge. He barely, he did the bare minimum to get it working. Oh my god, it literally is just a really long 2x4. Look at this. Here we are. 
Things have certainly become a lot more hectic than before. They must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick. That voice sounds like... Pearl! Oh my god, thank god! Thank god, oh my god, thank you! Thank you, thank you, Pearl! Oh, oh. She's okay! She's okay! Oh, that makes me so happy! But she hasn't eaten in like two days. So you were here ever since that night. I was so lonely, I thought I was going to die. When I, w when I woke up in the morning and I saw Dusky Bridge go- Why were you sleeping here? I really realized I was all alone. She was all alone? It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Uh, you're- I am Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. There's a prosecutor who was mean to Mystic Mile last year. Well, I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your wit. Oh, damn! I think Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you are so mean. I'll never forgive you. I, uh, I, uh. Looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Come on! Come on, Pearls! Keep going! Oh, you too afraid to hit a little girl? Huh? Ow! Why are you whipping me? We need some pearl armor. We just need to like strap like 15 different pearls to like our body so she can't hit us. <laughs> you didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. Pearls, anyway, weren't you with Maya? Uh. I'm sorry, it's... It's all my fault. Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I... I... Uh, Mystic Mile! Oh no. Don't tell me that she's... Oh no. Oh, please no. Please no. Please no. Hey! Wait! Pearls! She just ran off. Ah! That was cruel, Phoenix Wright. To make a little girl cry like that is in- I swear to God. What was that all about? Pearl's acting like that. Oh, what was that all about? Pearl's acting like that. It's giving me the creeps. Guess I better take another look around since the scenes, um, since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. Do we find the Koroks yet? Korok. Look at all the Buddha statues lined up along this path. Phoenix Wright. Do you think this is how many siblings the head nun had? What? Why don't you ask her the next time you see her? You know what? I think I will. She's, and she'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. It is open. There's a weird smell coming from the incinerator. The door is almost open. Almost like it's begging me to look inside. Oh, oh yes. Please, please, Phoenix. Go inside. Go inside. Well, well. Let's see what stunning clue is concealed here, shall we? Huh? It's empty! How naive of you, Phoenix, right? But it's a bit strange, don't you think? I seem to remember. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it, so it has been used in what was used, what was burned. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It is impertinent to call people by their full name. What? I don't get it. Did I skip some text? I probably skipped some text. Oh, oops. Okay. 
Uh, over here. There's a little gate that leads into a garden. It says, no entry on the sign though. Come now, Phoenix Wright, what are you doing? Let's go in. It's halfway open. What harm could come of it? But it says no entry! We don't follow laws in Germany. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and just simply saying, whatever? <laughs> uh, what does the court record do? It brings up the evidence. And that, uh, we don't do that, and that's got nothing to do with it. And who told you that? This must be the door that leads into the inner temple, where Maya Fey was training on the night of the murder. Yeah, there's a solitary room there called the training hall. You, you could do with some training yourself, Phoenix Wright. Ah! You're completely out of shape. Uh, I don't know how much more of this woman I can take. We will start with the lawyer benching. You need to bench 15 stacks of paper. That's a lot of paper! <laughs> All right, in we go. Oh, oops. This must be the inner temple door where Maya Fey was training on the night of the murder. Yes, there's a solitary room. Oh, I already, I already read, read this. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit out of it today. <laughs> Inside. Oh God, what happened to the, the poster? Somebody splashed paint on it. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here. Yet, it appears she is nowhere to be seen. And, what's with this? Oh yeah, there's a lock! Huh. What's with this strange lock? It wasn't here two days ago. The whole room is giving off some strange vibes. Vibes, man. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right, let's do some examination. Um, as long as, um, may you say a theory, as long as it's not, um, uh, it's not, um, you actually knowing spoilers, then yeah, that's fine. Um, huh, this door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains, it's almost as if they're guarding something in that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite complicated like this, quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. They look like the ones that guard the person's secrets during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. And what about this? Not that, this. What do you think this yellow poster is, Phoenix Wright? Well, if Maya was supposed to be here, what if she captured was captured by the- Oh! I mean, true, right? She would be inside the door. Uh, and I suppose she would be a victim, but to an extent she was a victim just by, you know, being on the island. Or, not, not a victim, she would be trapped just by being on the island, right? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... A woman? I don't see any woman here, except for you. Are you saying you're not a woman? Oh, double counter! There's a di different atmosphere in this room since I last was here. Siv says, oh, Siv, if you, um, if you want to practice your um, Japanese, I have no problem with it. But, um, you know, make sure you're actually doing it correctly, because when you're just typing random symbols, like, none of that makes sense. Um, no, it's a different atmosphere, a different smell. It's gravy! Pearl slowly appears out of the floor. Gravy? I like gravy! And then she just vanishes. <laughs> oh. 
What's the matter? The scroll's been covered in gravy! Ah, yes, there is a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute. I see. No, no one does that! <laughs> this is why Europeans have such weird stereotypes about us. Because, like, they come here, they don't understand crap, and they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And they're like, no, no, that's not what we do at all! This must be the gravy that we had with the roast on the night of the incident. Why would anyone do this? And why this scroll? What took you so long? I thought you'd even... I thought you'd... I thought even you'd manage to get here faster than this. Try it. Prosecutor Godot! I didn't know you were here! Prosecutor? What are your measurements? I bet a mine are better. How come you didn't show at the trial today? <laughs> oh, how come you didn't show at the trial today? Huh. <laughs> I can ask you the same question. Huh? But I had a cold. I, I didn't fall down 40 feet and just got a cold. I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough. I believe I have the measurements of you. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> you are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Uh, I don't know. Saving your mom's life. Um, protecting the ones you love. Nope, not important. Uh, trying to come to terms with your old, destroyed self. Nope, not important either. Hey, who's the wild mare, right? Uh, this is... Miss Von Karma, she was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Ah, uh, well, I guess I owe you one. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Dang, bro! Dang, bro! Chill, man! This is, this is 2023, I'm gonna get canceled! Just who do you think you are? This case is my- Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand women like- No! No, Kato, I'm gonna get canceled! Oh, God! Oh, 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 thanks for watching, everyone! I'm gonna say this once, and only once. Lady Von Whippenberg, go home. Phoenix Wright! What are you hitting me for?! <laughs> you deserve more cracks of the whip than that, Trite. Maybe you should step on him a bit. Oh, oh, actually, that's, that's okay with me. What? What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. There's something different about Godot today. It's like he drank too many energy drinks and couldn't get sleep. Is that why he's not drinking coffee? Oh, damn! I'm getting such a strong sense of some. It, it's the smell. It's the smell of of monster energy. That's why he's not drinking coffee today. Is it anger or sorrow? Hmm. 
You had some important business and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I like coffee. I drink 17 cups. Every trial. You see, Trey, I've experienced something most have not. A really good cup of coffee. You... Drink good coffee? You don't just go to Starbucks or something? Of course. Being extradited from Starbucks is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all the espresso beans. Well, let's just say modern espresso machines allow us to live a ripe old age. Even for someone like me. So, you mean that mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... Uh, I didn't know. I thought you were just half cyborg. I am half cyborg. But the part you're talking to right now is the human half. My eyesight is pretty messed up. How's it going, Violet? Even with these huge goggles on my head, I can't see everything. Also, I work for Big Coke. Pepsi sucks. Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk on my body with reg- I keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. I'm sorry, but... You say you experienced death. Where did you get that? I said I drank a good cup of coffee. How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask... him? Huh? Me? Yeah, try you. You should know all about it. You know, when my life ended, and who ended it for me. Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know how Godot was killed. It'll all become clear in due time. Isn't that right? Try it. Earlier you said I set some... I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. But that's what Sister Bikini said, too. And I wonder, Trey. Do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. Missing? <clears throat> Um, Mana, did I see the reason, say the reason? Yeah, I mean, I think we can conjecture, we can con- What is the, what is the verb form of conjecture? Is it still conjecture? I'll just say assume. Hy hypothesize? Hypothesize! We can hypothesize that, um, um, Godot hates Phoenix because of what happened to Maya. Or, sorry, what happened to Mia. As the leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. My fay is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. Huh? But that's impossible! She came here that night and... It, I, um, I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. What? Where is that? The sacred cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore? Get some freaking bolt cutters, guys! Let's go! They haven't searched the cavern yet! 
Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freeze. Maya's dead. Maya's dead. She had suffered from frostbite. Chances are, like, her skin has frozen off. She's probably, like, bleeding. She's probably, like, uh, what is it? She's probably suffering from gangrene right now. Um, yeah, she's gone. She's just completely gone. Um, be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing, even if she were in there. Hypothermia, too. The chances of her being found alive are slim at best. No! no. Which means, Trey, that you sent Maya Faye to her death. You fool! If the situation, if that's the situation, why aren't you in here with a search party right now? You must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and j Yes! Just get a bolt, get some bolt cutters, open it up, and go! It's a trick lock. I'm making preparation. You don't need to just get some bolt cutters! Well, Trap, once again, a woman dies because of you. Once a what what are you talking about? Don't tell me you forgot. It was only two years ago when the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Fey's sister. That's right. Mia Fey. Mia! You killed her. No, no, that was red, white, of blue, Corp. No, I'm pretty sure that was red, white, of blue. It was two years ago. Mia Fey was pursuing someone. A man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally! Sure. Miss Faye's murderer was caught, but that won't bring her back. Um, do you figure out that Armando's a- he, I don't think he's a misogynist. I think he's just very old values. And I, I think there's a big difference between those two things, uh, Violet. Uh, well, no, but you were with her at the time and you and no one else. Um, it was your responsibility. You should have protected her. You say Mia Fey was your teacher? Well then, I say you've learned nothing. Trite. You robbed her of her life and now... You've let her sister suffer the same fate. I haven't sentenced Maya to death, no! Um, he is? I don't... No, I, I think you're... I think you're trying to find, um... Moralistic values in a game that can't be judged as such. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I got that, Kiyoma. I, I got what you were saying, uh, Kiyoma. Yeah, I think you're trying to find moralist, like, um, you're trying to find some sort of morality in a game that can't really ju be judged as much. That, especially given the fact that he's from 2004. Um, anyway. What is this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid, but I can make him into a misogynist. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid we can't do that, woman. Why don't you shut your mouth right now? People like you shouldn't be talking. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. God, women just should keep their mouths shut, you females. Ugh, get lost. This is a man's job. <laughs> You want to be talked at like that? I didn't miss a stream, did I? You missed a lot of streams, Gaming Parrot. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Just like all the girls tremor at my sight. Yeah, that's right. They all love me, but I don't give a damn about them. <laughs> Women. They think they they think they can control me. No, I control all of them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> there you go. You got misogynist Godot. <laughs> Aggressive boys are the hottest. Shut your mouth, Cam Joe. You stay in line. Any excess excessive force to break the lock would. Well, let's just say the inner temple and the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well. Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with a key? Huh. <laughs> sure. Just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. There's no, there's no keyhole? That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple, the accused. Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the end. Wait, but didn't she start the training didn't, what's her name? Bikini started the training, right? Shouldn't she have set the lock? It should be Bikini, right? Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. My fate was to train here. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early st Oh, yeah, I mean, you don't need to know the, the a locks combination to lock it, right? I mean, that's okay. Welcome back, Gaming Parrot. No worries. Um, it, yeah, we, we dis discovered the gravy on the scroll. So I guess, um, what's her name? Iris could have set the lock and Bikini could have just locked it. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah, you don't need, a, you don't need to know the combination to close the door. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Never mind the fact that I should have just gotten some bolt cutters. I believe I suggested that the bolt cutter idea. Yeah, but you're a woman. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I am so sorry. Now that you brought up Godot being a misogynist, I, that's gonna just that's just gonna like go automatic now. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Mana King, thank you. Every time I do that, it's a war cry. You're the one who brought it up. I can't help it now. It's just stuck in my head. <laughs> is that bubble tea? No, it's just normal tea. Um, Iris is the only person who can open this lock. I hope she gets here soon. Hang on, hang on and hang on in, hang on there. Hang in, it's hang, am I going crazy? Hang on in there. Hang on in there? Hang in there, right? Hang, hang on in there. What, what, English, English. Hang in, hang on in there. Hang on, oh, hang on in there. Oh! <laughs> English is hard! Hang on in there! <laughs> My... <laughs> we'll get you out. I should be getting back to work. Wait, Kado! How sure are you about Maya? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that your friend of yours brings back the accused here soon. My darling? Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never drink Starbucks. Never. Ugh. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. Starbucks makes great caramel macchiatos. That's what everyone said. <laughs> Thank you, Von Karma. <laughs> Look.
looks like I don't have much of a choice. Guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. If you want to be mod, you have to come more often, Gaming Parrot. I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Yeah, uh, guess I better wash that off. Uh, that's what I'll do. No, no, but I can't do that, I'm a detective. Ah, uh, my brain is driving me nuts! Ah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was simply a greeting, a friendly tap on the shoulder. With my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Um, you deciding whether or not to wash your hands after eating? Uh, how'd you know, pal? <laughs> Perhaps you were trying to decide. Perhaps you were trying to decide. Perhaps you were you were perhaps you were trying to decided if you wanted to decided if you want. It's okay. She's from Germany. We we can we can accept that. Uh, yeah. Perhaps you were trying to decide if you want to wash the, the, that off or not. <laughs> How'd you know, sir? Oh, oh yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go with that little game, okay? Uh, the one that says. No entry on it? Uh, I'm kinda already snuck in there. Uh, is he trying to be clever or something? So, what's behind there, Scruffy? Uh, kinda garden. Oh, uh, kinda gar garden like, um, gar garden. Yeah, yeah, it's under investigation. Keep out. Uh, I'm not telling you, I'm asking you about. Got me! Isn't it normally the other way around? <laughs> ah, yes, the floor is made of floor here. Well, well, uh, z see you uh, later. Don't, don't go in there. He totally left his bento box in there. <laughs> so, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course, what else will we do? <laughs> I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. That's a good question. Okay, what are some things we've learned? Okay, so before we continue... Alright, let's go over what we've learned. And this is the part where you listen to me ramble on about nonsense for the next, like, 50 minutes. Uh, okay. We know that the thing, Pearl, not the, the Pearl, like the crystal, the crystal was found here. We also know that Pearl was in at the inner temple, which means she literally didn't eat for two days. Oh my God, someone get her some gravy. Um, okay, so Pearl was on this side. Maya supposedly is in here. And then what? So, wait, we, did we find the murderer? Did we run, we haven't run into the murderer yet. Where'd she go? Where'd Dahlia go? Huh. Is she hiding? Uh, well, ho hopefully they'll find her. Into the garden. Oh! That says Maya. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that! What's that strange writing on the stone lantern? Ah, what are you doing in there? I thought I said you can't come in here! Don't you know, Scruffy? Avon Karma will always show up whenever there is a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But, uh... Uh, well, let's talk first. How's the Inner Temple investigation going? Uh, we have the best forensic team in the world working the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of this scientific study? 
Nothing. Scientifically speaking, this place is as clean as a whistle. Yeah, there's just blood on the lantern. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh... Well, uh, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern in the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? It looked kind of fishy to me, you know. This is si scientifically this is speaking. So I got the lab boys to look it over. The results were, um, it, kind of hard to say, actually. Guess I better look into them myself. Uh, about Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yeah, we heard. He's got a search party looking for her. I mean, if there's a search party, then um, I can imagine that they'll find the killer as well. But there's no one else you could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. He's escorting Iris to defend it over here. We'll have to wait and see if... Since she's the only one who can open the door to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Well, he got a big fancy ring and... Uh, I mean, I, I... He told me he spent like four months salary on it. Just don't be expecting any good news. Oh, no, oh, never mind. Oh, it's probably bad news. <laughs> when I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down. I felt like, I felt like I was drowning. Uh, may maybe he's just nervous. <laughs> it's for gumshoe plot twist. <laughs> Sounds uh, pleasant. Uh, broom? Lantern? There are a couple of torches here. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah. I was looking at these things, pal. Looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recently are we talking? Hey, hat kid! Um, I hope you had a good time in basketball practice. As recent as the night of the murder. I was training here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think these things were lit up at the time, I guess. What does it say? And it says Maya. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to click on everything before I click on the stone lantern. Um, there's a charm or something poking out of the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it too. Apparently it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Denium. Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The end of the cord found on both ends and on this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like this little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. Kerrain Masters Talisman? Let me see the- oh, there! What's a talisman? It's like a charm. Um... It's generally more religious, but essentially it's a charm. Is that Maya's mom? Is Maya's mom? There's no, there's no way. There's no way. A little lantern, a little statue. It's certainly a quaint little garden. Oh. 
What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's a, uh, a, a water bowl, uh -huh, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if there's any impact on the case. Uh, well, I, uh... I doused my face earlier with water, uh, and this. Getting kind of sleepy. Ah! Next time you're sleepy, you only need to come to me, got it? Uh, understood. I think that's everything. What the heck is that? Uh, you, you, you spotted it, pal. Are you kidding? It couldn't be more obvious! It says, Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions without, now, Scruffy, without exception. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Um. Ah, whoops. My Maya, so these letters are written in blood. Yeah, what's worse is it's the victim's blood. Boys, take her away! Uh, this is Miss Jinyam's blood! We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but... It's the way it's looking, pal. Sad gumshoe does make me sad, too. Um, hmm, most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? Yeah, because the person who wrote it had their back against the wall. You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. A result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder... That stone lantern was upside down! Thank you, Gumshoe. Ahem. Anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Elise Denium, Denium, Denium wrote these letters herself in her own blood. You, 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 mu you must be joking! From the writing and the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of the murder. At least, that's our current theory, pal. What? what So, Mr. was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then, what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard in the main temple? What was that? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? Uh, what do you think, Ms. Walker? 
Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But, but, but wait a second! Bloody writing and all the other clues here! Someone could have easily set all that up after the mur- No, there was literally no way to get here. Sorry, but it's not an option, pal. Why not?! How quickly we forget, Phoenix Wright. Oh, are you getting old, old man? Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came in here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. I can't think of a counter-argument because there's no counter-argument. <clears throat> Knew it. Should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. Oh, that's what oh, that's what Gumshoe was thinking. He was trying to protect Maya. Oh, Gumshoe. No wonder they call you Big Richard Gumshoe, because you got a big heart. Also big dick. Uh what? Um then I, then I need to figure out exactly what was what it was that Bikini actually saw. Alright, let's move. Bridge Training Hall Garden. No, oh, that one. Back to the bridge. Um, here. <clears throat> it seems you have a visitor. I don't know. Can I trust this one? Is this, is this, is this, which one is this? I don't know. Mr. Wright. Iris, I, I wish I didn't see you here. Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Never mind, uh, never mind him. We've got to hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple. I will see you later, right? <laughs> Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... Maya Fey is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we cannot allow members of the public to interfere. That makes sense. Come on, Edgeworth, please. How can you say no to me? If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's my- Mr. Wright, all that matters is Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Actually, I was really just more concerned to spend time with Edgeworth. But yeah, yeah, my daughter's kind of important too. Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now, excuse us. This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me. Anyway, into the hall. Sister Bikini looks like she's frozen. <laughs> oh no, she's losing height. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, 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 hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome crimson-clad prince. <laughs> Hey, that's 
that's my crimson clad prince! Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk to her at all. Oh dear. It's all my fault this has happened. Oh poor Iris, she was worried about my back. Would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There is no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. We will make sure Iris is executed once we get a guilty sent- Ah, uh, no, no! That's not what you should be saying to her! <laughs> well, I don't hear anyone else saying that! Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ah! Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did great. Uh, yeah, absolutely spectacular! You two are the only ones who've said that to me. I can't shake the feeling I just became a shill to a shrew. <laughs> Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? No, I can be a shill to your shrew. Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully, but I know she's hiding something. Guess it's time to break those Cyclops of hers. I always imagine when he's presenting the Magatama, he just takes it out and smacks them with it. Ugh! <laughs> Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What, what are you, earth are you talking about? She, 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 she was... Mystic Elith is an author, just an author, of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Oh, sure you did, Phoenix. Yes, you are so smart, Phoenix. We'll let you have this one. Yes, Phoenix, you're amazing. You're super smart. <laughs> suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory. But now I do. The evidence that proves Miss Lulu's true identity. Mr. Merber had this charm with her at all times. Oh, oh, where did you get that? This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. Then, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could, what could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops! <laughs> Phoenix, you already knew that. Don't be mean to her. This speaks volumes about who Miss Liao truly was. This, and one other item. This painting is covered in gravy! Gravy? That's right. Smell it. Lick it. Taste it. Do you taste the fat? The buttery goodness of the gravy? But the scroll shows the master of the Korean channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. This crest is reserved for the master of Korean. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fei, told me. What? You mean that acolyte is Miss? Did she not know? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya's misty face soul success. Can, can can we disband the Fey Clan? I swear to God, like, there have been... It's like, there is more crime within the Faye family than in all of Chicago. Like... At this point, I, I, I want... I, the law should be stepping in at this point. Oh wait, this is Japanifornia, there is no law! Mystic Misty! Oh, 
Oh my god! That's right, we just want to help. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with the mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of the talisman, sister? The Karain talisman? It's the symbol of the master of Karain. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death. So Elise Dinulem was really Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the master of the Karain channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. We're making some headway here. <clears throat> Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. Um, it's actually not Ku Rain, it's Ku Da In. But once again, we're. I'm reading English, so. It's. Kurain. Um. What happened? What's. What's. What's happening? It... Oh no! Earthquake! This kind of tremor... Oh no, Edgeworth! Edgeworth! Oh no! We gotta go check on Edgeworth too! The inner temple! The sacred cabin in the training hall! It might as well came in! Maya! seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing! Let's go! What? Where? To the inner temple, of course! Where else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, all right? Of course. You run along now! People may have been hurt. I'll need to get some first aid kit- um... Third aid is fine, probably. Come on then, Phoenix Wright. Um, Violet, if you noticed, um... All the pronunciations are off in this game, so please don't try to like push this type of pronunciation or that type of pronunciation. This is just the pronunciation I'm sticking with. Um, they won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Uh, thank you. Uh, right at this moment, I had the worst gut feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's all right. Um. That begs the question, what would second aid be? Okay, so, um... Um... First aid is, like, bandages and gauze and, like, um, like, um, alcohol and stuff like that. Second aid is, um, a kiss to make it feel better. And third aid is rub some spit on it. <laughs> you look worried. Oh, you look worried. Are you thinking about Midal's Edgeworth? C come on, let's go! We've gotta hurry to the Inner Temple and... Right, right! Ah! What are you doing here? How could I have... How do you expect us to understand you if you don't speak up? I don't get why I'm getting whipped! She's... she's gone. The defendant, Iris. She's gone. Gone where? She fled. She is... Well, butts. What? So, it was just now during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. 
Well, two. The first one's me. The second one is... His fear of earthquakes. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes. I stupidly passed out! That incident still haunts you to this day, doesn't it? That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let this happen. Right, the inner temple is a dead end, so she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now, and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth, have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous, why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross it. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, even though I literally met her two days ago. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have been caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris may have gone to check, uh, go to the inner ta temple to check on the situation. Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt isn't necessary. Was Edgeworth's fear of earthquakes. It was covered in the very first game. Right. Let's not waste any more time. Um, we need to get to the, uh, the... The training hall sacred cavern now! Alright, let's go. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in. But... What we found... Was something none of us could have ever expected. Um, actually, guys, did you guys notice that the locks literally aren't connected to any? Just, just, just peel them off. They're, they're literally connected by stickers. Just, just peel them off. It's, it, it, it's literally connected by, like, Gorilla Glue or something. <laughs> There's literally nothing the locks are holding on to. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. BRB.
<clears throat> All right, locks and stuff. Even more locks? Even more locks? What's the meaning of this? Iris! Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Oh, I literally stopped at it to be continued. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, need time. Oh, well, welcome back to the inner training hall. Inner temple training hall. Right. Is this what Kado was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Mm, Gorilla Glue! Why is it so powerful? Edgeworth. How are you feet? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Iris. If you can't undo the, the the other four locks, at least undo the first one. You're looking a little pale in the face, like you're one to talk. Your face is all green. Wow, Edgeworth, that was kind of racist. Little brother, go get some air. I'll watch over the sus suspect. You go get a grip on yourself. Don't be redoubled like that. There's no telling what sorts of mistakes you can make in your current state. Now go get some rest. That is your only concern now, my little brother. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You two take care of things here. Edgeworth. Um, he's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems this is the part where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well... Thanks for your help. Oh, also, you're still a loser. The last time I saw you, you lost your case. Loser, loser, Phoenix Wright. I see you haven't grown any older. Well, goodbye. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few questions, Iris? No, not at all. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I, I'm sorry. I heard that the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I, I was so worried I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but... But what? And I saw the chains here. Take off the first one! I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern door and... Hmm. Who in the world would do something like this? These trick locks are a sacred... 
treasure of the Korean tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who can set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set the locks. I don't think it's that simple, Francisca. Von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow there's five of them. Like I said, bolt cutters? What does that mean? It means someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. That means that Iris can only can only open one of the these locks. The first one. Yes, that's correct. Iris, try to think, please! Is there any way around this? Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day? Only a day? Like, they're like a whole day, but it's like, it's only a day to unlock five of these locks? It's like, these are some pretty insecure locks. <laughs> well then, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure, I'll do whatever I can. I've got to wait another day. Hang in there, Maya. I'm gonna have to call on your inner strength now. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris! Don't give me that look! You told us you were in your room in Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the Inner Temple. And then... You were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple too. Being spotted at Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple, it's as if you were... Well, Iris, think, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Only three. I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. I'm gonna try to break it right now. Night of the crime. I think it's about time you told us the truth. <laughs> you said you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Someone saw her stab the author. Yep. <laughs> Open and shut case. Did, did someone see her stab the author? Yes. Guilty! <laughs> You said you were in your room at the entire time. Do you still claim that to be true? Yes. That's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too. But I can't. Because the person you saw somewhere else... Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but I decided it was a better idea to leave them with a serial killer. So I told this serial killer, who I don't even know about, to go with them. Sister Bikini didn't just see you. She spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were at the inner temple of the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left at 
About 9.40 p.m., I think. I'm sorry, Iris, but lying just doesn't suit you. Now, you say you left the main hall at 9.40, but what you say doesn't add up with this. Uh, 9.40? Uh, um... You yourself testify to the contrary. You yourself. You yourself testify to the contrary. This isn't Iris. This is Dahlia. That's why she doesn't know the answers. You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Uh. Plus, only moments before you rang that bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Me. Mr. Wright? We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you get, this is absolutely Dahlia. That's why she doesn't remember ringing the bell. Right? If this was Iris, she would stick to her testimony, I believe. And I've very well, I've very much established that Dahlia is actually, one of the, one of the Irises was actually Dahlia. This is Dahlia. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right. I remember. Well, Iris has red hair. I mean, have you heard of hair dye? In fact, I don't believe Iris has red hair. I actually believe that Iris is black hair and she dyed her hair red. That's actually what I believe. I mean, I don't know. I There, there probably is a canon, but my head canon is she dyed her hair red. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock on the night of the murder. You were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. And the second, and second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this. There were two of you! On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means there must have been two of you! I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But that's crazy. How could that be? There's only one of me. It's impossible. Impossible? I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise! You're serious about trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence! I don't think I have it. <laughs> Do I have Dahlia's? I don't have Dahlia's profile. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll be back. Um, Violet? I will just say, um, when you try to act mysterious and you say, yes, it is, or is it? It's like, I can, I can immediately see which one it is based on how you say it. It's like, I don't think you realize you're not being as mysterious as you think you are. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're necessarily doing anything wrong, but I, it's, to me, like, I, can see, I can see the spoilers in you being mysterious. So j once again, please just be careful. Uh, anyway, let's go to the inner, uh, inner gate garden. Oh, well, let's go check him on Edgeworth. Um, the cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. It's got to be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. I am muttering in British. Oh, pip-pip-cheerio. 
all tea with the queen, our crumpets and biscuits and um, Earl Grey with milk and sugar. Wow, I can't believe how British he is. Edgeworth? Ah! Hey! Don't run away! Wait, what does Edgeworth look like running away? <laughs> According to canon, he likes Earl Grey. That's, that's great. I like Earl Grey. What do I want? If you... If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Okay. <laughs> look at the two loser boys. Oh, look, 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 Edgeworth. Oh, my little brother is such a loser. Oh, and his friend Phoenix Wright is such a loser. Oh, look at you. Look at the two losers. Loser, 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 loser. Fool, 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 Thank you, little sister. I was about ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Come on. Give him a hug. Do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, um, okay then. Well, yeah, um, here, here's the, 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 huh, um, uh, um, uh, okay, um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, shoulder pat, uh. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, you're 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 cool, Edgeworth. <laughs> you went back to the criminals' affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden. There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the writing in blood and the talisman and the snow and the removed snow and all the other <laughs> clues that are around? <laughs> exactly. As you know, these things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? What is this right? Her, like, ninth time? Um, going to jail, being suspected of murder? Uh... It's actually 13th. There were a few um, when you weren't here. Oh, I see. Um, well, she's a lucky girl to constantly be going to jail and having you defend her. L lucky, lucky indeed. We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? So I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. Dang, uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. No, though thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. 17 years ago, when we were little school kids, when we were little school kids at the same elementary school, Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with the big earthquake that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck within the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. Father, why do I have a British accent when you are a Japanifornian? I don't know, Edgeworth. Father, why do I like tea when you drink coffee? Edgeworth, I don't know. Father, why am I always talking about a queen? I don't... Uh, okay, listen, Edgeworth. You had a British mom. No, a British mother. It cannot be. That is the truth. Accept who you are, Miles Edgeworth. We were deprived of oxygen, and we passed out. But I was the only one who passed out like a Brit. And that is when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. 
I lost everything that day. All because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, my ethnicity, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? Hey, Az. How did he lose his ethnicity? Because he thought he was Japanifornian, but turns out he was... Brit British... Brit... Britannese. But he was Britannese. <laughs> um, you don't think I don't know that. I was there. But... It was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, Wright. There is nothing else I can say. To this day, Edgeworth still can't accept the fact that he's part Brit. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think. No more self-pity, okay? There is someone that... Oh, um, you know, I'm just gonna go out randomly on a little tangent, but for those of you who don't know, often PTSD is not cured. It's just learned to be dealt with. Um, you know, there are a lot of people, you know, um, mental disorders are very interesting, and, you know, when you talk about depression, there are some cases in which they call it depression is cured, as in, like, you don't really feel depressed anymore. Um, PTSD is one of those, um, cases that, you know, they generally can just never go away. Like, you just learn to deal with it. Um, which is, you know, kind of sucky, and, you know, Edgeworth might need to go to a lot of um, therapy to get rid of his um, fear of quakes and whatnot. But yeah, it's not, I don't think it's going to ever go away for him, which is unfortunate, especially since it was um, embedded in him at such a young age. Um, yeah, that's rough. Anyway. Um, if you're a psychologist and there's like some sort of new study that proves me wrong, please let me know. <laughs> Um, there was something that bothered me from her, about her, the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere, but no. Wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her before, in court before. So you went back to the Criminals Affairs Department to look for her file? Yes. I checked over every case file I've worked on. And I was right. No! I'm right. You're Edgeworth. No, no, I was right. No, no, you can be me in the bedroom, but I am right. You're Edgeworth. Um, uh, um, I, I, I let, let me, can I just continue? Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court, and as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information to a member of the general public. Really, Edgeworth? What? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was a daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with the Iris and Hasakura Temple. And neither- Are you not going to acknowledge that her case literally occurred at Hasakura Temple? No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. It's just her identical twin. That's all. Edgeworth, you're, you're supposed to be smart. Please don't, please don't prove me wrong. Please don't prove me wrong. Please don't be an idiot. Unrelated? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. Edgeworth. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to the case. I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain to him the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Um, do we have it? Weather data, Iris code photos, virus, Lisa, my occult, Magatama. I don't think we have that, um, what we're looking for. 
Elise's autopsy. Uh, no. Crime photo, no. Yeah, we don't have it. We have to, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back! I just need to find evidence! I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those laws. You cannot! Because that's not Iris! So I should try to gather more clues from Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Where is Pearls, anyway? It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. Sure gets quiet here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check on that shack just down the path. Maybe I'll find Larry sulking again. <laughs> Larry, where are you? Oh, it's Pearl! Oh, Mr. Nicky. Pearls, what are you doing here? This guy's a scumbag! Don't hang out with him! Nothing. What about Miss Maya? Is she alright? Well, we don't know yet. I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry! This is the loser's shack, where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick, Mr. Larry's did a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. We're gonna gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of the way! I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? <laughs> no one believes a word I say anymore. What happened? Pearl and Larry are hanging out because they think they're both losers. Listen to me, Pearls. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. You're not a loser. Come on, show me the sketch. Larry, is there something you want me to t you want to tell me about this picture? I've got nothing to say to you yet. My life is here now with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What am I gonna do with him? All right then. What do you think of this picture, Pearls? I... I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw it all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it! It's tough getting the flames like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, right? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. No, no, it wasn't a dream. She really flew. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. But Mr. Maurice. <sighs> Not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like some kind of nutcase. I'm begging you. <laughs> I guess this picture is really a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. Ah! Uh, there it is! God damn it. God damn it. There it is! Idiot. You freaking idiot. <laughs> but I was wide awake after the lightning struck, and I saw what I saw. It was exactly like the picture I drew. Looks like I don't have any choice but to take the sketch at face value. D did no one think of just flipping it over? Really? Hey, what's the look of doubt in your face? Uh, pearls? Yes, Mr. Nikki. Would you like to talk to a failure now? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you? And what exactly were you doing when it all happened? 
I was just, uh, I'm just a kid, you know. I'll have the kid's meal. I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it? I'll give you a picture covered in gravy! Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Pearls, but yes. Yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Mrs. room reading a book together. But Mr. was murdered, and you, Pearl, were at the Inner Temple. Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? Has nobody thought of the fact that Pearl hasn't eaten in two days? Can someone get her something to eat? I'm really sorry, Mr. Mickey. All right, let's break open this child. Oh my God! I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spirit power disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? Honestly, Pearl, that, that maybe that's for the best. You don't want to have anything to do with the Fae Clan. Like, like, the Fae Clan, just, get out of there. Get out of there before someone comes after you, okay, Pearl? What do you mean by your power has disappeared, Pearls? It is all over for me. A spirit medium. Well, you're actually more like a spirit small. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right? Mm hmm. Tried but failed, perhaps. I mean, that's important information, so we know she didn't channel anyone. Way to go, Nick! You made her cry! That was really cruel of you! <laughs> Just as I thought. I'm gonna have to break her psych locks. Alright, let's try this one. This is actually very important information. Oh. I pre Here, here's my lawyer's badge! After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be training in Elise Dilevin's room. Do, do I? Like, I have no idea what happened to her. Like, maybe I should back out of this. Like, I have no idea. All I know was she was at the Inner Temple. I have no idea why. Yeah, I was so happy when she invited me, but I didn't go again. You didn't go? No. Oh. There was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried. I I had to go. I didn't know what to do. I was nervous. Pearls never went to Mr. Miller's room. Because she was too worried about something else. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? You were here! You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not gonna open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? Then the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now I'm gonna take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, you'll tell me the whole truth. Okay. For one simple reason, and that is this. It 
It's obvious about what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Uh. You knew that the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course. That means I'm gonna die! Hey, it worked! My, my, my. Oh, well, the special course includes a murderer. Young people. Oh, don't blame me if you get killed by Phoenix Wright's ex-girlfriend. Sister, Bi what, Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because you were introduced to Hazakura Temple- And you- because you introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place! You felt responsible. Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me worry. I could- Well, I was right in the fact that Pearl was worried about Maya. I guess I wasn't so accurate in the fact that Pearls was protecting her from a murderer. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing. I won down. Then we're cl then we're clear now that you went to the inner temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after. Uh, About what time was it that you headed over to the inner temple? Uh, it was probably 9:30 when I left the main hall. Girl, when I was nine, I was in bed by nine. I heard that training starts at ten. I wanted to get there before it started. I there was so much snow, I couldn't get there until after 10. After 10? How'd you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ring for lights out. She heard the lights out bell? Hazakura Temple's bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I was really trying to pick up the sound of the bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That'd be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why are we so worried about hearing the bell? Oh, I... I think I know why. I think I don't, actually. <laughs> um... Because... It was snowing and you wanted to have time to play in the snow? <laughs> I don't think I know. We're out of here. <laughs> Um, to the main gate. I wonder if Sister Bikini's back in the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea. I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. <laughs> That's right! My boy Gumshoe gonna get hitched! And if it's not with Maggie, it's with Sister Bikini. <laughs> Did I hear someone say tea? Well, well, how's the damage? It looks like it survived. We have a bigger problem now. Explain, 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 explain. But who, who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Korean tradition. We have Iris at the cavern, trying, trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me about how the Master of Korain disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystically... No. I mean, Misty... Misty... arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the Master, she said... Someone is... Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. But I am here to put a stop... Oh. Oh, but I am here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family? There was only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Korean. And her daughter's... The main family. All the other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. A 
That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families have always... Uh, have... Have and always will plot to erase those of the main family li Um, yeah. About that. Have you considered maybe going a different route? How about education? Um, maybe open a school. Um, maybe, um... Exams, exams are good. Then you can tell who's studying hard. Um, maybe, maybe I'm um, something called resumes. That way you can tell who's qualified for certain positions. Mm, that works. Mm, mm. Is the power of the master worth that much bloodshed? Like, no, like legit. What does the power even get you? Is it just a pride thing? Like, cause I've never, I've never heard of this crap. <laughs> you believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know the power is real. See, no, I believe in it as much as I believe one plus one is equal to two. You don't believe something. If it's true, it's true. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. No, it's literally always her sister. It's literally just her sister all the time. <laughs> During the mass to mass case. Maggie Bird's trial, too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help when I need her the most. In her dominatrix lawyer outfit. The Karange technique has, been made a, has made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true. Psychic power, you know? Um, one time in the future she channels- I mean, sure, I'm sure she will at some point, but up until this point, all we've ever seen her do is channel her sister. The members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Those who wouldn't respect such a tremend- Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be like- really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Oh, you are very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. Uh, mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when ever- Do you have any quests for me? Oh, Siv! Siv, thank you! Oh my- Oh wow, thank you so much, Siv. I'm really glad you're enjoying the the stream. Like like knowing that you you're donating to a like something that is just in general free and you know enjoying it so much that you're willing to like donate is just It's so it's so wonderful to know that you're enjoying the stream and I hope I can, you know, pay you back in like I guess uh, I I can I feel like I can say love because I feel like love is a very flexible word. I could pay you back in love and enjoyment and happiness on the stream. So, and lots of good laughs and stuff. So, thank you so much. Thank you. No, really, thank you so much. No crying. Big strong man. Big strong man. No crying. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Um, it was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident. What she's talking about is... I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called... DL6 Incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6. Oh, we already know. The DL6 Incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just to... I'm pretty sure you handled that exact... No, no, I, I think you went to trial for that exact case, DL6. Yeah, they reopened it. No, you literally handled that case. Ah, that's right. So, it, it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history that the police ever used a spirit medium. 
The idea was to channel the victim's spirit and to learn the identity of the murder. Did they not think about using the spirit medium to testify? It turns out, sometimes, killers wear masks. It's like, wow, a killer wearing a mask? Who would have thought? Did they not, you know, just, why don't you call the spirits in to testify? Rather than to call them in to like, just say like, who was the killer? Uh, it, it was Francis. Francis, it was you! <laughs> and the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Faye, Maya's mother. Through, Misty Faye, through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? Yeah, that was um, the Parrot Boy. That was the Parrot, that was, that was Parrot Man, right? Yeah, it was Parrot Man. It was, it was the guy, I remember, I remember. I voiced him like Obama. I remember. Up. Oh, uh, hello, Polly. Um, Polly, um, how are you doing today? I see. A uh, Yanni Yogi, yes, yes. I, vo I remember I voiced him like um, Barack Obama. I see. This lake has um, very good weather, uh, I would think. <laughs> um, yeah, he had a tragic, he had, kind of had a sad backstory. He was, he was the bailiff in the elevator with them, and, and people assumed that he was the one who shot him. That's right. He was. Yeah, but he actually wasn't guilty. And that case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. No, you didn't. It's just evidence. That's like getting not so great evidence. And they're like, oh, well, whatever. It's like, it's like, like I, I can't stand this type of thing. It's like, oh, you tried once and it didn't work. Oh, well, let's just throw it away. <laughs> it was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean tradition opened and openly involved in. It was all over the media. I mean, I guess bad press is awful. The public, the judiciary, the people of Korean Village, everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a shit. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a shit. Did they not notice that a woman morphed into a man? Did they not notice that at all? <laughs> She literally morphed into a dude! And you're like, oh, this power is a sham! <laughs> yeah, if Mystic Misty was gonna call um um the 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 victim's the victim spirit, that's Edgeworth's father. She would literally have turned into Edgeworth's father in order to do that channeling. How did they not how what how yeah, how did she but yeah <laughs> Why are people so dumb? Why are they so stupid? <laughs> and she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. This is Japan of Fort. You know what? Fair enough. Mystic Misty's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. Um, you know, if you wanted to commercialize, we, we can go, we can go in on that. Um, I, I mean, I have some office space in my place. We can split the office. Um, we can, you know, advertise. Um, Maya, Maya's filmed a commercial for me once. <laughs> but with the new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? <clears throat> the spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya told me the exact same thing before. We the women of the Fae Clan have always been spirit mediums. Except for Pearl, she's a spirit small. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly within us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. So, uh, 
And, and so they undervalue the men and then the men become deadbeat dads and then children only grow up with their mother and then they're more likely to commit crime because they only grow up with one parent and as a result murder happens and as a result they um, have kids and the kids aren't raised by good parents and then they do the exact same thing. <laughs> The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Ami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. It's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a, an older sister, too. An older sister named Mia. Oh, yes. I heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life as a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Miss Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I mean, I think Mia might have been a better fit, because Maya is really lazy. <laughs> I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Also, um, I'm noting that um, it seems like um, being able to channel is a recessive trait, because um, apparently the ability to channel skipped a generation with um, Pearl and her mom. Um, That's right. Misty Fay had an elder sister. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Did she actually, or was it just like, um, she didn't have any power and they're like, oh, well, you can take the, I mean, I, I mean, I guess, um, but I don't know. It seems silly. Do you know what this is like? This is like, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. The crests are to blame! It's the crests' fault! It's all the crests' fault! <laughs> Mystic Misty's sister, Mystic Morgan, as you know. Morgan. There's a name I know well. She has really big hair. And I mean, really big. It wasn't a year ago at Maya's home. What she did was terrible. It was also she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you must know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have realized, then you must have already realized that I- Huh? Iris? But Scudden? That Iris- Pearl has sisters? Oh my god, this cannot be happening right now. This cannot be happening, I swear to freaking god. <sighs> Iris is what?! You just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oh, I thought you already knew. Wait, that means Bikini doesn't know about Pearl. She doesn't know that Pearl actually has really... Pearl is literally a spirit monster. She can literally like shoot spirit lasers from her hands. It sounded like you've met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes. Pearl Fay. I, but I always thought she was an only child. But I always thought she was an only child. You, you, she's Mystic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. She still has her little loopies, that's true. <laughs> mm. 
Mr. Nick? Is the mean lady standing behind me? Uh, Pearl, just look at me. Don't, don't, don't look behind you. Uh, she, she's behind me, isn't she? I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. All right. Tell us about Dahlia. Wait, three? Yes, Iris and her twin sister and Mystic Pearl. What? Twin sister? Come on, Phoenix. We figured this out like three streams ago. Get with the program. Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. After the clan leadership was taken by her and her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later. It wasn't many years later that Corain, Corain's reputation hit an all time low. Wait, hold on. She is, I think she should be like around 30 at this point. She's 25. Oh no. Don't tell me Morgan did what I think she did. Did she, did she reproduce for the sole purpose of getting a spirit child? Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh my God. She had, she had kids all for the sake of getting a spirit child. Oh my, oh, this is, oh, this is awful. And that explains why they don't live with her, because they don't have any spirit power. They don't have any spirit power. It wasn't, wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low, when Mystic Morgan's husband realized her wife would never be the master. He left her, and the village taking their twin daughters with this, this okay okay morgan and the husband that that entire family is screwed up oh my god that, that entire family is screwed up because the husband is a jeweler so he wanted power right He was a jeweler, you know. We learned that from the last case. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at... Oh my god. Iris, you lucked out. Iris was the luckiest one of them all. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister, could it be? Uh, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What is the name of Iris's twin sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped a lot, clear up a lot of details. Pearl had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. What do you mean? Like, I can't stand, like, people using other people's lives as tools. That is just awful. And, like, when... When, like, parents do that to, like, uh, what is it, live through them or, like, uh, what is it, to, 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 like, create a success, it's, like, that's awful. And people do it all the time. They don't even think about it. Her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. So where's the where's the father of Pearl? 
Do we ever... I don't think... Uh, uh, no need to spoil it if it's a spoiler, but I don't think we ever meet... Um, I, at least I don't think we have ever met any dads. No, we've met one dad in the um, in the circus case. The 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 the, the uh, Mr. Barry and Regina, Mr. Barry and Regina. That I think that's the only father we've ever met in this entire game. No, and we never met Mr. Barry. We actually never met Mr. Barry. Yeah, he he died, right? Dang. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morton's name. Dang. Dang, Mystic Morgan getting knocked up by any man who'll have her. Jeez. It was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flush it out a bit. I need to ask questions. Get more info! There we go. All right, Edgeworth, we're coming to you. This moving system, ugh! We should just have one like list of things where we can just go right there. Edgeworth gets smacked. What bam? Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need to smack you again, Edgeworth. Um, now get smacked. What bam? Wait. Oh, he doesn't have any psych locks. Oh, well, well, we'll just present to you this. Hey, Edgeworth. First of all, sorry for smacking you twice with my glowing green rock. It's okay, Mr. Wright. It's okay, Phoenix. It happens. Did you know Iris had a twin sister? What? A twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father, a jeweler, I think. A jeweler! Right? I... <clears throat> I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. No! I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. Oh my god, she did date you. I am going... I... I'm a cut up bitch. It was my first court case six years ago. I'm a... I was a greenhorn, due to my inexperience, the def... And due to my inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case. Then you know Terry was just a big teddy bear and he didn't deserve that. Yes, I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> he didn't deserve that. It was just a teddy bear who wanted a hug. You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. <laughs> Dahlia and Terry conspired to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. <clears throat> T 
Terry didn't deserve that. Yeah. I feel like the one person who is 100% a victim in this game is Terry. They stole a jewel worth two million dollars from Dolly's father, a jeweler. <laughs> I mean, it's too bad. I mean, being a victim isn't really an honorable thing, but... What you gonna do? And five years after that... <laughs> she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister. Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's... Dahlia's father's second wife. <laughs> That's a lot of possessives. And this is when she entered my life. I'm very careful not to say this out loud because I don't want to make Edgeworth jealous. The woman who tried to kill me. So after, after Terry Fallis died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. Oh no! Oh no! That is the worst possible thing that could happen! Okay, we need to... We need to rethink this entire case now. <sighs> okay. 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 Okay, relax. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just finish this. We'll finish talking. What? Well... Her metabolic processes are only a matter of are a matter of interest to only historians, so to speak. I need music while I'm looking. What do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college. Oh no. Edgeworth knows about that. Uh, it, it was, it was a phase I was going through, uh, um, I, uh. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty, thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. <clears throat> Mia Fey! Mia Fey! At the time, Dahlia. It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's almost been five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. And her sentence was fine. She was executed. Well, of course she was executed. She killed like 27 people. She was executed last month. Executed. Okay, now we have music. We need to rethink this entire thing. Here. <clears throat> Let me get some water. No, I'm pretty sure she killed a lot more. She was, she was just never caught. Um, no, she definitely killed, like, 34 people. <clears throat> okay. Let's rethink this entire case. Okay, now suddenly it makes sense why people are disappearing and reappearing. They're not disappearing, they're replacing each other. Okay. Which means at this time... There are three possible people. that could be replaced by Dahlia.
Mia Fey, Pearl Fey, and Misty. Assuming that Misty can do it too. But she, she of course she can. Um, which means <clears throat> when Dahlia was on this side at the beginning of the um, the murder, when they first crossed the bridge, someone was channeling her. That could have been Pearl, maybe? Or that could have been Misty? It could have been either of them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rule out anything yet. Misty channeling her is weird, but I'm not gonna rule that out. Um Maya, could it have been Maya? No. Well, assuming that Maya is um is preparing for um practice, at the beginning, she's not gonna be channeling um what's her name? Dahlia. Which means one of those two is channeling Dahlia. Which means one of two things happened. One, Pearl channeled Dahlia and Dahlia attempted to kill Misty. Or two, Um, Misty, uh, channeled Dahlia and attempted to attack Maya and then failed? Uh, what if, okay, so let's suppose that, okay. We know that she can constantly replace, she can replace others at a whim. At this, oi, let's figure this out. At this point in time, Pearl is over here. And Misty is dead. Which means the person channeling her right now is Maya. So Maya is channeling her right now? Why? Maya is channeling her. Because she doesn't want Pearl to channel her. Pearl attempted to channel someone. And so Pearl failed at channeling, which probably means, I'm, I'm making an assumption here, but I'm assuming that when someone is being channeled, two people can't channel the same person because they can't be in two places at once. So Maya is channeling, Maya is channeling, Um, channeling Dahlia. Why would she channel Dahlia? Wait, she doesn't even know who Dahlia is. Which means she must have seen Dahlia last night, or the night of the murder. Which means someone channeled Dahlia before Maya channeled her. Because Maya needed to know who that person was in order to channel them, I, I think. I, don't, I, I assume. You can't just pluck someone out of the ether and say, hey you, you wanna be channeled? Yeah, sure. I assume, I assume. Um, which means that uh, 
I assume she got possessed. Are can you get possessed? I'm not sure you can. I don't know. Um, I mean, what is it? They um in the second case of the second game, they said that um strong spirit mediums can control the ghost. Maybe she can't. I I don't know. Maybe she can. Uh, but I know Maya's gotten stronger, so maybe she is um better now. I don't know. But they're like, oh, if you're too weak, you might not be able to control the spirit or something like that. Uh, then again, I don't know how much they stick to their own canon. Um, okay, and if Maya saw Dahlia, that means Dahlia attempted to kill Maya. Which means the target was Maya and her mom took the bullet for her. Oh my. Oh my. But how would the mom know who Dahlia is? Unless she's just been like tracking us or something, I don't know. Okay, so at this point in time, my theory is that somebody was channeling Dahlia. So either Pearl was channeling Dahlia, trying to kill Maya, and the mom stepped in, or the mom was channeling Dahlia herself, attempted to kill Maya, but Maya instead killed her, which ended up killing her mother. Um, that's one of two options at this point. Oh, whoops. I'm sure you understand now. She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead. And once someone is dead, there is no way to revive them. I'm going to completely ignore the fact that we are literally surrounded by spirit mediums <laughs> who I have firsthand seen in action. <laughs> Edgeworth, please. There's no way to revive the dead. I wonder. It seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What is their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, a spirit medium from the branch family of the Corain Channeling Technique. Did you say Corain Channeling Technique? Do you know something about it? Oh yes, I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. Which is actually the same nightmare. Father, when I go home, can you teach me American English? Edgeworth, uh, Miles, except who you are. But father, I want to fit in with all the other chums in my, in my class. I want to be an American boy. This is who you are, Miles. I was caught up in the middle of the murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called in her. She was a very famous medium and the master of the channeling school. But do you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Nedra. Go to the police records room, it's all there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you will know. Of course, how could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Come on, Edgeworth, don't be a professional victim. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. No, literally, all you have to do is look at Maya and like watch her body magically transform. And then, 
you'll see that the Karain channeling technique is real. Well... You... This demon! Is there anything out left here? Oh, we never investigated this. Why is this the only area with no snow? Someone must have cleared it away. What other explanation is there? Of course, I played the what if game as well. But when I asked our trusty bungler, Detective Gumshoe, he said it wasn't him. I suppose Edgeworth has a point. Whoever cleared this must have had a reason to do it. Yeah, because they wanted to clear away the blood of, um, of the snow. Just can't imagine what the reason would be. Uh... What's under the torch? Here? Oh yeah, we investigated that. It says, uh, Maya. I suppose you've noticed Maya's name is written on this lantern. It's pretty hard to miss. It's written in Miss Dillum's blood. She was probably forced up against the lantern by the killer. Then with her back against the lantern, she wrote that name with her finger. That's why it's written upside down. You know, that begs the question. If you're a spirit medium and you're channeling someone, does your DNA change? Or are you just the same DNA with a different structure? How does that work biologically? But do you have the same fingerprints or are your fingerprints different? Right, if you bleed, if you bleed, um, if you bleed and then you change back into your original self, does the blood that has left your body, is the blood that leaves your body part of the spirit? or part of the medium. Um, if you, if you get a, if you get, oh, if you channel a spirit and then that spirit gets pregnant, does that mean the, um, the medium gets pregnant? Or does the spirit take the baby with them to the spirit world? Um, so many questions. Wait, wait, wait. Can the baby, can, can the baby develop in the spirit world? Because if the baby develops in the spirit world, does that mean you can actually have a baby with a dead woman? And when the baby comes out, is it, is it a spirit child or is it a real child? What if the, the child comes out, but then the medium releases the spirit? Does the child just disappear? Or does the child stay? Basically, the spirit medium retains the child. Yeah, but whose child is it? Is it the spirit medium's child? Or is it the, the ghost's child? And, and if the DNA doesn't change, if the DNA of the person doesn't change, how do they deal with all the structural problems that come with having one type of DNA but a completely different type of structure? It's the spirit medium's child. No, but, but, what happens if an egg is released into the fallopian tube before, no, what if, what if the medium, the medium, uh, the spirit is in the medium's body and then Um, 
uh, uh, this the egg is released into the fallopian tube. But no, but but when you uh when you um when you change back, does the egg reform as the vaginal walls reform into the egg? Like, does it continue to attach, or does it just get released? And then as a result, it's a, a that would be a miscarriage. Wait, so, so if a spirit gets a medium pregnant and then the medium, no, no, it wouldn't be fine because the, the shape, the shape of the, the shape of the uterus would be different. It wouldn't be fine at all. There, there are so many unanswered questions. I, 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 I need to know more. Okay, it's the medium's body. Okay, what about this? Okay, what if <laughs> the way Edgeworth is staring at us? What if a spirit medium is a woman, that spirit medium is currently pregnant, and then that spirit medium channels the spirit of a man? What happens to the child? What happens to the child if the spirit medium is pregnant? And then the child, and 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 then and then the, and then they channel a man. What happens to the baby? And the baby can't morph with the the spirit medium because they have two separate DNA. They, they have two separate DNA strings. Wait, what if? What if? A spirit medium turns into a man and gets reduced. No, gets reduced. Uh, I read the gone reduced to Adam. Wait, what if a spirit medium, what if a female spirit medium turns into a man, gets a woman pregnant, and then turns back into a woman? Does that mean two women are capable of having a child? Does, does that mean two women are capable of having a child? And what happens if a, a spirit medium, the spirit can't have a child? What are you talking about? If, if the body turns into, how about we stop? <laughs> sure. I need to know though. I'm going to I'm going to do research on this. You think the victim wrote this herself? Did you just go off on a 20-minute tangent about how spirit mediums deal with pregnancy? Uh Yeah. Interesting. So, what happens if the man um uh, the spirit of a man inhabits a woman? Well, um yeah, but that's a good question cuz um, does the re reproductive system change? You know, that is an interesting question. We need to do more science on this. <laughs> you know, no, but like legit, they need to do science on this. Like, I hope within the next like few, um, um, few Phoenix Wright games, they actually have a better understanding of spirit channeling and they've actually performed experiments and stuff like that. Because this is like a freaking miraculous phenomenon. We need to think about this. You think the victim wrote this herself? Isn't that the obvious conclusion? But why would she write Maya's name? <sighs> I don't think that's something I want to discuss with you. Oh, what's this under the torches? These are torches of the naked flame variety. Oh, I want you naked on my flame. What? Uh, no nothing, no nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, I guess you need all the light you can get up here. Accordingly to Detective Gumshoe, they were lit on the night of the murder. Well, Maya was training here. Nothing strange about that. Except, apparently, they don't light these torches for training set. Oh. I heard that too much light is, isn't conductive, isn't conducive to spiritual training. I didn't know that. 
Dang, Edgeworth knows something about spirit channeling that I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is... Actually, that was really... That was uh, a good suggestion, Kiyoma. Um, we've done everything in here. Oh, right, we have this. I'm going to take one more quick bathroom break, and then we're going to unlock the rest of the locks, and then probably that's going to be the end of the stream before the trial, I think. But I'll be right back. Hello, everyone. Let's go. Uh, I have not si uh, solved Pearl's psych locks, because I still don't know um, why she was concerned about the time yet. Alright, but here. We're gonna smack her. Well, bam We opened most of these. We didn't open the last one, though. You... Because someone else saw you... This one was the- Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I think I can hold down B. That doesn't add up with your testimony. That's weather data. Your testimony. I wonder what's the fastest Phoenix Wright speed run. You were seen in two different places at once. There were two of you. Which means there must have been two of- Oh, right. Uh, we have to introduce- This is the one that we haven't known. Show me that something that proves that there is more than one of me. I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister. Uh, apparently Iris knows us, but I can't, I don't know in what situation we knew her. Or I don't think Phoenix Wright knew her. Maybe, like, maybe when Dahlia went on some dates with Phoenix, Iris took her place because Dahlia's like, Oh my god. Do you have god. any quests for oh me? Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my. Wow, I guess that discussion on um spirit medium pregnancy you really did enjoy. Well, maybe I'll I'll continue that. <laughs> no, no, thank you so much, Siv. Oh my goodness. And oh. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm so glad that you're enjoying this, even though sometimes I go off on ramble, ramble. I sometimes ramble and go off on tangents. Like, I'm always concerned, like, and I really just want to make sure you all are having fun. So thank you so much for letting me know that. It's, uh... <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Siv. And um, also, if you ever want to practice your Japanese, feel free to type Japanese whatever you want in the chat, because I don't, I don't enforce the English, just as long as it's not overly... Japanese. Um. That's right, Dahlia Hawthorne. 
a woman I know only too well. Oh yeah, oh, what was I saying? Um, maybe um, on, on some of our dates, Dahlia needed Iris to take over because she's like, oh my God, I can't deal with him anymore. Just like, oh my God, just go on a date with him and just, I, I can't deal with his stupid, ugly face. I had no idea you knew of her. Oh, never mind. She had no idea. But she's no longer. Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently. I'm sorry. Thank you. Wait a second. We're talking to Dahlia right now. She is manipulating us. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? The second you who was here at the temple the night of the murder was your twit was you, Dahlia Hawthorne! But you just said it yourself a second ago. My sister is dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo, a training ground of the Korean channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide. Airbending. Oh, again? No, no. Oh, thank you, Siv. Oh, thank you. I'm really... It really touches me knowing that you're enjoying this, uh, Siv. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'm afraid of saying some things because I never really know what to say. For me? So it sometimes just sounds like I'm blabbing and like I just say, blah, 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 but <sighs> more than anything, knowing that, you know, we're all here and we're all having fun is going to be always the best thing I could ever hear. So thank you so much. Airbending. Um, 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 airbend. No, yeah, like when he broke the lock, she went, ah! It's like every time someone breaks down, like uh, Phoenix Wright it does like a whole bunch of airbending and then they're like, ah! And then like the wind is blowing behind them. <laughs> we'll let you know if we don't want to hear it. Yeah, but I'll probably keep talking anyway. <laughs> I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister, Talia. The other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder was Dahlia Hawthorne! Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right... Oh. My. God. You did not just say that. She's like wanted for 17 counts of manslaughter, four counts of murder, second degree, three counts of murder, first degree. She's wanted for like, um, accessory to murder, like seven counts. It's like, oh, do you know how many crimes this woman has committed? To be fair, it's my stream. Yeah, but I always want to make sure you guys are having fun. Um, excuse me? And because I doesn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once. I can't do it. Even Dahlia manipulated her sister. No, you guys are being manipulated right now. This is Dahlia we are talking to right now. Do not get manipulated. This is Dahlia. I am 100% sure that this is Dahlia right now. She's been charged with the murder of a good boy. Yeah. Whew. Are you saying Iris is actually the dead one? No, I'm saying that Dahlia right now is being channeled. And the person who is channeling her right now is Maya Faye. 
And now I understand exactly why Maya Faye is channeling her. The reason Maya Faye is channeling her right now is because she doesn't want Pearl Faye to channel her. Because if Pearl Faye channels Dahlia, she can kill Maya. So Maya is channeling Dahlia specifically to protect herself from Dahlia. It's, it's actually genius. It's actually freaking genius. As long as she doesn't realize that, um, that she's actually Ma Maya right now. You're always watching the stream if you don't. Thanks so much, Dumball. Winky face. Um, you betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. But then again, okay, so now that begs the question, where is the real Iris? Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me Dahlia killed Iris too. Where's, where's the real Iris? What is she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago. That was the start of it all. It started her down on that twisted path. And I enjoyed every single moment of it. <laughs> um, if she's channeling Dahlia, can't Dahlia just kill herself? I mean, as long as she doesn't know about it. Right? She doesn't know who's channeling her right now. I assume. Okay, now this begs the question. Why did Pearl slash uh, Misty... Why did Pearl slash Misty channel Dahlia in the first place? That now this begs the question. I've been so caught up with the what. I've been I haven't thought about the why at all. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, um, that's a spoiler. Uh, Violet. Um, just by the way, whenever I ask questions, I'm not like actually looking for an answer. Sometimes they're rhetorical, so don't feel obligated to answer all my questions. Sometimes it's just like um, I I say the question because I'm that's what I'm thinking. So don't feel obligated because I notice you're like always like answering this is a spoiler. No, I can't say that. So I just want to make sure you know. Don't feel pressured to do that. Um, she started to commit crime after crime, and in the end. She lost her life. It's all because I betrayed her. No, this is Dahlia projecting. That, that filth Iris, she betrayed me! How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I helped plan the whole thing. What if Dahlia's trying to, um, what if Dahlia, remember, remember, do not believe a single thing she is saying right now. What if Dahlia is trying to pin some of the guilt, the blame on her sister? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father? That's awful. But I promised. She promised that I'd help. She promised that she would help, but in the end, she just betrayed me! And she didn't do it for the money. It was revenge on our father. Revenge? Oh, up there. What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother, she must be talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. <laughs> the main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. 
for power. Yeah, she, I mean, look at her. She's not that hot. But this plan backfired because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Karain. That would be Misty Fay. But before long, the credibility of the Karain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive, and he had no reason to stay there. Are they supposed to be country bumpkins? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Nicky! How you doing? I'm Pearl Fay! <laughs> and that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I had no place in his new family, you see. And I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her and being rejected by her own family. I've heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally to see how the pieces forget fit together. I, I was like, I'm going to really forget my I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fey Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister Dahlia Hawthorne poisoned a lawyer. She began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student, have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. It's okay, buddy. I've been there before. I've been there before too. And I think I told you, at one point in my life, I was, I dated a girl who legitimately just wanted to use me to um, prop up her grades by copying off my homework. <laughs> yeah, I've been there, buddy. It's okay. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. You idiot! <laughs> Hurry up, Phoenix Wright! There's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you. I promise. Thank you. I suppose I'd better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left. Pearl's psych lock. All right, let's go, Pearls. Yeah, but it's NBD. Um... I really want to believe this is the real Iris. I don't believe it for a moment. By the way, she um, answered some of the questions where she's like, oh, no, there was no way. Uh, I definitely crossed the bridge. It's like, there's no way Iris could have... Iris knew that she couldn't have crossed the bridge. She, knew, she knows that we have evidence of it. All right, buddy. Or little buddy. Huh. I was expecting Larry and Pearls to be here. I guess they must have gone to collect firewood. I'll check back later. What? But, but. Are we missing something? Oh, we didn't check the other side. Here? We. Check the statues yet? Oh, this must be. That's an anchor for one of the wires used to hold up the bridge. Guess it must have snapped during the fire or not. Um, the monks? Look at the Buddha statues all lined up in the path. Looks like one of the cakes someone has left as an offering is missing though. <laughs> I guess Gumshu couldn't resist. 
Uh, we, we checked the burner, right? There's something strange about this incinerator. I'm sure there was snow when I saw it the first time. That and the door's open. Something's been burning. Someone's been burning something, that's for sure. It's a shame there isn't a trace of what's left inside. What? That's not it either? Um, there's gotta be something. Uh, I, I, maybe we have to find whatever was burning inside here. Like, wood? Evidence? Knife? Um, notes? Uh... How do you burn a knife? Well, you can burn the handle, I guess. Hmm... I don't think it's going to be here. Nothing stands out. With attitude. Yes, that's definitely it. Are there any other burners? Maybe she she burned it in multiple places. I just assume it's some um, Dahlia. I need to look for clues. Um, let's try moving did we examine everything here? Hmm, this door. When I was here, there was only one lock, but now there's five. There are chains. Never seen locks quite like these. I have. Yeah, then we've read this already. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. Gravy. Gravy train. It's an antique dresser. Don't you dare open it, Phoenix Wright. Why not? Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her not to touch things. <laughs> what a pity. It's just full of old clothes for the acolytes. I thought we weren't opening it! I'm from the prosecutor's office. I can do anything. Yeah. Except stand up to a nine-year-old. Oh! Get out of my face. done all this. We've checked this. We've checked that. The bamboo. A little lantern, a little statue. Small. Oh, we've already read this. There's one thing that's troubling me. Everything is covered and frozen over, but this ice in the bowl has been broken. Maybe one of the detectives washed their face. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, right? No detective would be that careless at a crime scene. He's really angry. Better not say it was gumshoe. <laughs> Pearl has more power than Von Karma, confirmed. <laughs> um, bridge? There's nothing here. Phone. Yes. As a spirit small. <laughs> I should have never made that joke. I should have, I hate this. I, I, stupid puns. Stupid freaking puns. Anything around here? No, there's nothing. There's, do we have anything to talk to about her? Maybe we have to present something? Um. Okay, if we had to present something, who and what? Tracks, crime photo, horrible sketch, crystal sphere, Korean master talisman. We've already seen this. Larry said, the only extra piece of evidence is my attorney's badge. The only extra piece of evidence I have is this. Unless, do I have other psych locks to open? No, she doesn't have any more psych locks. Um, yeah, I, I went to Pearl's place. She's not there. Oh, over here. Present Dahlia. Maybe I will afterwards. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune are they humming? Oh, thank God. I thought it was old man, the old man again. No crime, no low crime, no motive, no. <laughs> 
No motive, no crime. Sing it with me. No motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the channeling room in Korean. Whoa. <laughs> I love my job. Who cares if our clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have. Good cases we lost along the way. Reggae? I would have never guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. Doom ba 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 Good, ah, uh, ah, uh, good cases, man. <laughs> Every case is gonna be alright! Every little case is gonna be alright! <laughs> hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? Long you been there? Just got here. Oh, okay. So what are you up to? I'm investigating, pal! I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth! I promised I'd find the real murder weapon! This barbed sword thing turned out to be false, right? I'm giving it my best shot here, but I haven't turned up any clues. Found these weird scraps of paper. They look like a letter or something. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? Tell me about the letter. Tell me about the letter. How's the investigation? I don't know if I should tell you, but I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in Inner Temple Garden. And they're taking the bloody writing of the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. Y you mean... I don't have the details yet, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be in one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation? You got me. I don't know. <laughs> they're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Hotbot. Kento? What do you mean by that? About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut trying to find the murder weapon. And all I found was a burnt up letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah. And that is sinner. Who took it? Gotcha! The incinerator? I knew it! I knew I wasn't imagining it! But after the incident, the snow had melted away, which means a flashback. What's up with you, pal? Got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts! Don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums! Burnt letter. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Better give it a good look over. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. Do you have any quests for me? Oh, Siv, thank you, thank you again. Uh, uh, thank you so much for for donating, and you know I'll. I, it's it's really it's really kind of you, and at the same time, make sure you save enough for food and your family, and you know, make sure you buy some presents for um, your siblings or your parents as well. So, don't 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 just spend it all on me, but thank you so much. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you. No, really. You're, you're... Yeah, but please, please don't just feel pressured to spend it all on me. Do, do make sure you are happy as well and your family, is, friends and family are happy as well. So thank you so much. <sighs> I'm getting better at taking donations without crying. I still get like over... This, this thing, I don't know what you call it. Like, out of breath, I, I don't know.
So what do you know about the real murder weapon? Uh, it wasn't a Shichi Shito and failed in the body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Well, I got hair in my mouth. Yeah. Yes, that's true. In which, in which case, it must be another blade. That's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for, huh? Yeah. A man is a tyrant work. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon. Secret weapon? What's the secret weapon of yours? You wanna know? You gotta think scientifically. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. So what's the perfect tool for the job? It's a metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile. <laughs> well, you want to give it a scientific investigation a go? I've been using this thing for hours now. It's pretty boring. I'll give it a try. I don't know. I am the forensics expert right now. Come on, pal. It's good fun, I tell ya. Yeah, that thing put Manfred's shoulder away. <laughs> This is the department's most advanced gadget. Oh, like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. It's so sensitive, it could you could make it cry. It's so high tech, you could skydive off of it. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon's around here somewhere. Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, turn on the detector. It's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off of something metal. Move the detector around like this in the courtyard, looking foul. And don't worry, this baby will let you know when you hit something metallic. Thing picks up metal and stuff and take a good look at everything that seems suspicious, okay? I found something metal, guys. Just a pair of skis. I'm actually pretty good on the skis, you know, pal? I just love to fly down the slopes with my coat fluttering. Wait, he wears the coat? Really? I had no idea. How good are you? Well, I'm better on skis than skates, but not as good when I'm on snowboard. That's a pretty detailed answer. Oh, but you know what I'm bad at? Making mashed potatoes and gravy. Pearl slowly appears out of the snow. <sighs> gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's losing it. Must be the altitude. Gigi Shito was next to the golden statue. It wasn't a real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, I know. I thought I'd just check it anyway. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. You know about the sword? It's supposed to represent multiple branches of life can take. All ending as one. Yes, I heard something like that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leading had I not joined the Homicide Division. You think about that kind of stuff, Detective? Of course I do. Think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, detention officer, me as the Blue Badger! There's something to be said about the humor value of Gumshoe as the Blue Badger. <laughs> Most advanced must have budget cuts as well. Yeah, definitely. Wood. Wood. What? This is Miss Dunum's staff. Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector's reacting. Yeah. But however you look at this thing, it's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of the meta detector to find metal where you can't see it? It's weird that this thing's causing a racket. Let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Examining evidence is a job for the- You broke it. Ah, the top's coming up! Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence! Ah! What? 
No. No. That, that's a, a sword. Beside the staff. This is, could it be? The murder weapon! Oh boy. Oh my, I, 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 that, that is something I didn't see coming. That's like one of the things I really didn't see. I have never guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. It calls this time to think a sword game, pal. This one's a real gem. The workmanship's really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword. Or else the victim would have stabbed her own f Oh my god. I officially give up on trying to figure out how to choose mom. <laughs> if the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden, why is the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Oh, thank you once again, Siv. Oh, please. Please, uh, oh, you, you, you've, you've, honestly, you've, you've been kind enough to give me already more than enough, so please don't worry about, uh, and thank you, thank you for telling me how much you're enjoying this stream, but please, just, I hope you, um, you know, I hope you have a really happy new year with your friends and family, and you can, you know, make sure you keep them happy. Do you have any quests with, uh, for me? With your, uh, <laughs> with your money as well. <laughs> thank you so much, Sue. So, <laughs> Did I buy tissues? I, I'm doing good on crying today. Hey, Gumshoe. Who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. <laughs> Doesn't look like there are any traces of blood. I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, 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 no! I'm sure someone just wiped it off afterwards. Yeah, of course! This thing's definitely the murder weapon! Great job, pal! It's about the same length as the Shichisto. This might be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run forensic over it. Yeah, and check to see if there are any spare, uh, final traces of blood or something. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it's been wiped off. Every case, every case is gonna be our time. Wait up, detective. What, what is it? I'm a pretty busy guy. You're gonna get stuff analyzed. Would you mind holding off just for a little while? Uh, wh what are you talking about, pal? Please, just until we find Maya. What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm getting a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, uh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped in the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I... So you're gonna hide evidence? You, you don't... Th my, uh, Please, detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern! You're... Looking kind of Viridian. Okay. Stop with that face, pal. One thing, though. The half secret trick. Keep this between you and me, all right? If it gets out that we knew about it and we didn't say anything, we're finished. Just a regular run-of-the-mill staff, you got it? Okay, you take care, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Gumshoe. You know, there's a place on this mountain, at the base of the mountain, that's some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find my own pal? Oh, Gumshoe, give me a hug. Sure, thanks. Can't help but wonder though, what was Elise, or Misty, doing with a staff like this? Okay, so... We have this, we still have to check out the letter. Be care- oh, dang it, it's burnt. Hold on. Be careful! Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her.
These were instructions for Pearl. Her name is... She is our all... The whole. Here is a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is... Burn the... Also make... So wait, so burn the letter and make sure no one... Don't tell anyone. Make sure you don't tell anyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master in the fires of hate. Gravy! Gravy! Pearls doesn't understand this last part. Which means... Did Pearl do this? She took her best guess. Gravely roast. So she took the gravy and she threw it on the master. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Gravely roast the master. The night of the murder, Pearl asked to practice reading with Elise, not realizing that was actually Misty. Which means Misty knew all about these instructions. Which is why Misty channeled, um, which is why Misty channeled, um, Dahlia before Pearl could. I think. Maybe? It, it doesn't matter. Uh, even if Pearl, oh wait, if Pearl channeled, um, Dahlia, Misty knew about it. Which means, now, suddenly, it makes so much sense why there was such motivation to go to the other side. Because Misty knew all about the plan to murder Maya. Because Pearl didn't realize that she was supposed to keep it a secret. She, she couldn't read very well, she, so, so she asked someone to help her read it, not realizing that her mom said, don't tell anyone. did make a fire. <laughs> They're right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nicky. Oh, you're too late, Nick. If you came here for potatoes, we've already polished them all off. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. Okay, I won't slap her. I will gently touch her on the shoulder. Smack! After dinner, after the night of the murder, I was so happy, but she couldn't go there. Uh, she was too worried about someone else. Pearl, you went here. Okay, we've done this already. Uh, you went there for a simple reason, Maya. You wanted some potato. They weren't mashed though, so she couldn't use any gravy. Then, we're clear now that you went to the inner temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after. Oh right, uh, 9.30, she was trying to hear the bell. Because I heard the bell ringing for light, so? 
Hazakura Temple's bell is pretty small, though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I was really trying to pick up the sound of the bell. I didn't want to miss it. That'd be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell? Pearls, why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I... I think I know why. It's because of this! You were given instructions to follow that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Uh, where did you... In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls, you were following the instructions in this letter, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. You're amazing, Mr. Nikki. These instructions that were found in the incinerator... I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... Uh, no, no. As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. But the last sentence is still... The section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it? Whose spirit were you channeling? Uh? Whose spirit would Pearls be trying to channel? Don't overthink. It's pretty obvious. Oh god. <laughs> it's the it's the note. Take that. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That's the name that was in the letter. Uh, uh, no. It's just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris whose sister Bikini met at the inner temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um... Did she like gravy? No, she hated gravy! Oh, she's a bad woman! I've never heard anyone by that name before reading the instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. About the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you never heard of. You must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. Here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions? Pearls, I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? I don't. But you followed them to the letter! Why? Because it was your own mother who asked, that's why! How did you? I figured it out. The person who wrote this letter was your own mother. <laughs> All right, Pearls. It's time you started telling me the truth. <laughs> why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me because I'm a child. If you're trying to say I followed the instructions, I want to see proof. Because, because I, 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 I don't think you have any. Ugh. You should say anything rather than admit to carrying out these instructions. Hey, Kaicharo. Kaicharo. Charu? Kai Charu. Um, I hope your pet um, has lived in great life and my condolences for your pet's death. Welcome to the stream. Um, I guess I have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, Pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. I, I knew it, see? However... I do know it was a child. How do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. Uh, what do you mean by that? Um, I'm sure you thought you were very careful in following the instructions given to you. But you misunderstood some of the words. And this proves it! It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? 
Why, why would I do something like that? Y you remember what was in the letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. Why did she include that to a letter to a nine-year-old? But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast among others. How do you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Miss on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I like gravy, and I don't, I mean, I'm not good at reading. <laughs> Would you like to practice? So how do you read this? It says, gravely. Thank you, I'll remember gravy for the rest of my life. Sure, Miss Dulas taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounded like gravy. And to to me, and I only and the only roast I could oh gravely sound like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think that was strange that she was wasting gravy. I did get the wrong girl. I did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. You're not useless. You're just young. You're just young. Okay, Pearl. You could... You have plenty of time to be useful later. Right now is your time to just learn and enjoy your life. I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mommy asked me. I couldn't even do that right. Oh, oh whoops, I read another one. It was written in my mom's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you should channel her spirit. I was on my way to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit? No, I tried, but I couldn't do it. Which means the mom channeled the spirit the first time and right now Maya's doing it. You couldn't do it? I've never failed at channeling. This is the first time it's happened. I tried and I tried and I tried. Yesterday in the morning, I tried. I couldn't do it. Hey, don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky just for you. Whoosh! Like that! So she never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation as to why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one possibility, although it's probably not very likely. Could you please tell me anyway? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Da, 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 da. Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of the spirit, right? Yeah, it's like dating a girl. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. And that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit before pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. He's not wrong. Hey, Arcane. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mommy's final wish. Her final wish? This letter. This is my last wish, she said. 
This is awful. This is how low can you get to like this is some freaking child grooming right now. Mommy loves you. As long as you do this right, mommy will always love you. This, this is freaking disgusting. So make sure you always follow the instructions carefully. This letter. Definitely need to find out more about it. After dinner, I did go to the inner temple with a pot full of gravy, but I couldn't eat it. The gravy? I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the cavern. I was sure it was a master of Karain, like it said on the letter. I see it then. It was way past 10 because I got of all the snow. So I went to the inner temple guest area. I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had started and I couldn't interrupt. So I just stayed and prayed for her to get through it. But then I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? Oh my god. This poor, adorable child. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I couldn't help it. Hey, don't... Whoa, whoa, where did that come from? Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris too. What happened? Dang, I mean, I mean, Butts is useless, but he does... He does cheer people up. Anyway, you found yourself trapped at the inner temple, huh? Yes. When I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but the ski bridge wasn't there. And there was no one in the... Tr no one in the training hall. I thought everyone left because I overslept. I threw the letter in the incinerator, and then I heated up the gravy and... Let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried. Must, it must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. <laughs> Don't equate someone something so trivial with early experience, Larry. My mommy has gone to a place called a pen... 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 Penitentiary. Pen, 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 I, I can do it myself. Pen, penny. Sound it out, sound it out. Penny, ten, ta, ti, she, she, airy. Penny, ten, sherry. Yeah, Pearl, you can read! Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. And last month she told me. Oh, God, her voice. The time we've come. The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it. Do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. He'll be doing a great thing. Now listen carefully. I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. Mommy loves you. My mom is always nice to me. I love it very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was good for the Fae Clan, so I had to help. I mean, Mystic Maya is part of the Fae Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? I guess so, yeah. There was a picture with her letter too, of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Look at her, she's so pretty. There's no way she could have killed 51 people. Usually the picture's enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange. The seal on it was broken. 
as if someone had already opened it before. That sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already. Oh, maybe it was opened by uh, Misty? That's why Misty even showed up in the first place. She knew the entire plan was gonna happen, so she showed up just to protect Maya. You're very welcome. My mom is watching over us. Oh. Yes, she is, Pearl. Yes, she is. So I'm sure Mystic Maya will be all right. <sighs> Let's keep that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say? Huh. <laughs> finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. Kado. The entrance to the sacred cavern looks like a frickin' puzzle workshop. Guess he's talking about Iris and the lock breaking. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because Maya Faye isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about! How can you say that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Mia. Two sisters, caught up in the worst circumstances. I realize that, but... And you were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could have saved them! But I didn't know anything about what was going on! <laughs> what did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow, we'll settle everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all. Mr. Nick? Is what that man just said true? It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. That's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl, you've done so well, my child. My Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now finally, after all this time, the master's seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. And that is where we end for today. Oh my God, this is going to be a terrifying trial. Is Maya alive? Of course she's alive. She just wants gravy. <laughs> You're switching out his coffee? No, no. What the heck is this light roast? <laughs> What the hell is hazelnut, hazelnut blend? Who put this here? <laughs> it will be terrifying. I'm here for it too.
Watered down coffee. Oh god. Oh. Oh, gross. The frick is cinnamon mocha. <laughs> Oh man, this was a long one. Thanks so much for staying with me. I suspect the last tomorrow will be the last Phoenix Wright stream. And then probably on Tuesday we'll do um, Mario Kart. But if it's not the last stream, then we'll do Tuesday um, the last stream and then Mario Kart. Because I know you guys want to do some Mario Kart. So I'll probably do one or two streams of me just trying to unlock everything. And then one or two streams of me like playing with you guys. What if you're on cl in class on Tuesday? Um, uh, get an you get an education. I think. S assuming, assuming you uh, learn something. <laughs> How are you supposed to show up? Um, you walk to class? Is, is that, is that the answer? <laughs> no, the stream. Oh, well, I would never encourage you like not paying attention in class. So I would say, you know, um, you can always join once the class is over or before class has started, but I would never encourage some, I would never encourage you all to skip class because that would be make me an awful influence on people. Yeah, I actually, I, I don't like it when, um, I don't like it when streamers say, um, say, oh yeah, skip the class, skip class, or like watch my stream in class. I'll always encourage you to make sure you pay attention. Don't pay it. No, that's the exact opposite of what I just said. I don't want to go to physics. <laughs> you need my Discord, like my Discord, like, um, user? Because I'd be happy to give it to you guys if you just email me. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't plan on making a Discord server again anytime soon because I don't think it was very conductive to the actual channel. And in fact, I think it was counterproductive to the channel, if you guys want my honest opinion. I think it got filled with a lot of kind of more narcissistic people who wanted attention instead of, you know, actually um, doing what I hoped, which is, you know, actually providing like help and whatnot. You have art from Pokemon you need to show me. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Feel free to email me. My email is on the, um, in the, um, what is it? Uh, my email is, uh, in the, um, in the, in my, on my, on my thingy, the thingamajig, what is it? Uh, the channel, the channel, you just go to info. Yeah, just make sure you tell me that you emailed me because I don't check my, that email all that as much. Yeah, because all the, usually the only emails I get are from YouTube. YouTube, Nintendo, YouTube, 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 Nintendo. Yeah, I never actually get any, like, emails that are, you know, um, like, I get emails from YouTube, Nintendo, Twitter, and that's about it. <laughs> you checked, you can't see it. You should be able to see it. Yeah, for business inquiries, view email address. You gave us your spam email? Well, I mean, it's not spam email because it, it's very obvious when somebody actually sends something to me because it won't say Nintendo on it. <laughs> I 
And actually, it's not my spam email. Both of my email addresses have spam. Uh, you gotta go. Thanks so much for coming, Kiyoma. Yeah, both my email addresses have spam. It just so happens this particular email address only ever gets spam because I don't have anyone else here. You can. Oh yeah, Twitter DMs are fine too. As long as I can identify who you are. You'll call the subject of the email Nintendo. Then I, then I won't open it. No, if you do that, I just won't open it. I mean, if you want to play with fire, feel free to, I guess. Actually checking my spam emails right now <laughs> because I'm afraid I might have missed an email now. No, 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 My rent payment is not freaking overdue. I paid it like last week. Sorry, I was looking at a um, the email where they were saying like, oh, well, your rent is overdue. I'm gonna do something in progress. Oh yeah, show that to me too. Yeah, um, I don't have as many, much fan art because I don't have the, um, uh, the Discord anymore, but I'd be more than happy if you guys, um, if you guys send me fan art, I'd be more than happy to show it off. What's my email again? You can see it on my um, channel. Just go to the channel about page. Or you can DM me on Twitter. Maybe that would actually be helpful because Twitter generally gives me updates and notifications. So yeah, if you want to DM me on Twitter, but some of you guys do have my Discord and if you guys want my Discord, that's perfectly fine too, just let me know. I'm just I'm just not going to put it on a public stream obviously. Yeah, man, it's been it's been a tough tough few days. Uh what is it? I told you guys that I have a surgery, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you got to do a lot of stuff and like sometimes news isn't always great. So, but you know what? I'm getting through it little by little. And you guys are here to help me get through it too. And I'm here to help you guys get through things as well. Like school, like school. How's school guys? Are you guys doing well? Straight A's? Ugh. Straight A's, right? A pluses. 97%, 98%. Uh, I'll probably talk about, the, if I talk about the bad news, I'll talk about it another time because the stream is getting very, very late. Uh, school starts Monday, oh no. School starts Tuesday. Oh, you guys have this week off too? You're setting a really high bar for us? No, I'm not setting a high bar for you guys. I just have high expectations. <laughs> no, I just encourage you guys to, you know, keep trying and keep doing your best. You had a three-week break. That's nice. I mean, you're also in university, so that is going to happen. That's the same thing. <laughs> no, the, the difference is high bar is an expectation. A, um, um... But I don't expect, I believe. Those are two different things. You're an ABC over here. Never failed a class before somehow. I mean, that's a good thing. You shouldn't fail classes. Right, I don't expect it, I believe in you all. 
just sent Goom Cam. <laughs> Maybe I'll show it off um, at a art show off stream. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> you want to hear a joke? Sure, tell me a joke before we end the stream. Yeah, but uh, this this semester, um, entertaining. I don't want to hear you say I'd never fail the class. I want to hear you say I didn't get less than a B plus this uh, this this year, which is yeah. You really have to hand it to short people because they usually can't reach it other. Damn, bro, why you gotta do it like why why you gotta do people like that? Damn. 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 Damn, bro, bro. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> because I'm short too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being short. Well, I got lower than a B plus this class this year, so I usually. Well, you know, no, no. Right now is the start of the year. You miss the short people who use the chat? You know, that kind of the point. You know, they can always come to the stream and chat. I'm just not sure where they all went. 6-1 over here. You're 6-1 and you're... I'm I'm gonna dox you, I guess. You're 6-1 and you're what? 15, 16? That's pretty tall. You're 5-3. Yeah, I'm 5'10". I'm taller than both parents. Well, that's because they probably shrunk a little bit. Um, sorry, but when you get older, you will get a little bit shorter. JD is 6'3". Oh, are, are we having a competition here? Okay, let's see who's taller. Okay, I'm gonna get some stilts. <laughs> I'm Kem, and I'm way better woman than Dolly will ever be. You know, that's a very low bar, Kem. I encourage you to try to be a better woman <laughs> than Dolly. That's an incredibly low bar. You just have to not murder people. <laughs> I'll just climb up my corner room. I am 16-7. Dang, he's so tall. Yeah, but I mean, I want, I do want them to come to the stream. You know, the whole point of the Discord, I think the one of the big problems was that the Discord ended up being a distraction to the stream. Um, which is why I wanted them to, you know, what was it? I was, which is one of the kind of the major problems. I slip and I like accidentally body slip. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Be grounded. Have you seen a video by Jelly Apocalypse called Ace Attorney? I have not. Um, send it to me. Um, you can do it on my Twitter DMs. Rantaro Amami. Hey there. Hey there. It's me, Rantaro. Hey, you know, I have a nice sweater that, uh, if you want, you can wear it. Come on. Yeah, it's, uh, if you look cold, feel free to wear my sweater. Oh man, it's really cold out. I, I wore a coat. <laughs> I, I wish Rontaro was alive longer. Man, Rontaro being killed step one. Oh god, I just spoiled. I'm sorry if anyone didn't know that and it was a spoiler. <sighs> Am 
my bad. You think Rontaro throws his sisters like Dragon Pult throws? Right, he has like a million sisters, right? Anyway, I think I better end the stream here. Sweaters don't count, they don't show the chest. Oh man, it's so cold in winter. Good thing I wore this coat. <laughs> You were about to do a blind playthrough. <laughs> a body has been discovered. I swear, slowly my monokuma is becoming more and more flanderized. Let it get started out with like, a body has been discovered. And then a body has been discovered. And pretty soon it's going to be like, a body has been discovered. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, I better get going, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for probably the final um, stream of Phoenix Wright. And then we will maybe next stream do some Mario karting. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, yeah. Um, my Twitter is over here. It's mannequin with a big X at the end because mannequin was taken. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Do you have any quests for me? And I'll see you all next time.